Alright, how are you guys doing? It's me, No Fuses, and yes, I have returned <laughs> back to the streaming realm after all this time. I know I've been gone for like forever, <laughs> but hopefully I'll be sticking out a lot um, this time. And yes, I didn't tell y'all that I was about to stream because y'all know what happens when I announce that I stream. Everything goes wrong. <laughs> so. So, uh, hopefully you guys are here to catch this one with, uh, Raincoat. I've been waiting for this game for a while. I've been eyeing it for a while. With this remixed Danganronpa music they got playing right now. I, I really feel like, I don't know, but someone's gonna say Danganronpa. <laughs> but alright, let's get into the game. And how are y'all all doing since I've been gone? What have this been new? Okay, subtitles are on. That's what I was looking for. Subtitles. Voice sounds Let's familiar. See. All right, there's something I have to do first. Okay, human, listen up. First, I'll have you select your difficulty. Choose wisely. Complain about it later, and I'll boom kill ya. Now then, display the options. Does anyone know who her voice actor is? Her name, her voice sounds so familiar. I can't place it though. Uh, lenient. <laughs> a, what, what's adorable? <laughs> Troublesome. Can you tell me like which one is like easy to hard? <laughs> because lenient. Okay, that's like super super mega easy, and it's making me guess. That's <laughs> that's the. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Don't make me guess. Uh, crap. Um, oh yeah, please let me know if you guys can hear the game okay. Because if not, and I find out later that you guys can't hear it, I'm going to be so upset. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Is uh, Does adorable mean like, you know, like, what, what is this? I feel like this is a trick. Like, this one's like super easy, it has to be. And this one's probably like, just easy. Mean is just ugh, troublesome. Demon Lord, hi, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. I'm over here trying to figure out which one's easy, which one's hard, I don't know. Oh. Should we just go at random? I, I don't know. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, but, jeez, oh, I'm not going on lenient, I know that. No, how about we just go into adorable? Yes, she has big hair, so I have big hair. Well, put that in reverse. <laughs> I have big hair in reality, so she has big hair. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna go with adorable. Let's just go with adorable. This is just, uh. <laughs> oh, you sure about that? Don't say I didn't warn Don't you. Don't tell me that. <laughs> hmm. You wanna know what difficulty that is? Please. The one you selected 
is how difficult yours truly will be on you. I'll be as difficult with you as you wish. So I hope you're ready. Oh, how are you doing, by the way? To be honest, it's all the same no matter what you pick. I'm your lenient, mean, troublesome, adorable partner, after all. So, are you ready? Do you want to start for real? Do you seriously want to start? Yes. <laughs> seriously? For real? Oh, God. <laughs> Start for real. Don't start. Yep, seriously. Start for real. Like, yes! Huh. Guess you're really here for it. Sounds like you're just dying to solve some mysteries. You just can't wait to go on adventures with me, right? <laughs> Humans are so weird! Well, let's get this started. It's time to embark on my lovely, thrilling, wonderful, mystery-solving adventure. Let's go! Did those options have any effect on the game itself? Or was she just messing with me? I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> Will the blood be pink in this game like it was in the other games? Whoa! What's going on? W wait Huh? Where am I? Oh. I'm loving your boots. Who? What? Oh no, we don't know who we are. Oh. <laughs> don't do this. <laughs> we got amnesia on a train, and we're probably gonna get framed for murder, and we're probably gonna have to, like, defend our honor. Okay, never mind. I was about to say, take it. I'm gonna have to use my glorious voice acting skills <laughs> to like, for every person here. I was really hoping people would be voice acted, but it seems like that's the case. That they might be, you know what? I'm not gonna block his face. I'm just gonna, ooh, ooh, nope, nope. Hold on. I didn't realize I was there, still there. Uh, get back over here. Thank you. Whoop. There we go. Sorry, I'm moving things around. <laughs> but is everyone voice acted? It would be greatly appreciated if everyone was voice acted. <laughs> and I, I don't have to hurt my throat trying to give everyone a voice. I can't remember anything. Does that mean... Do I have... what was it called? Amnesia? You have amnesia. And you know it's amnesia. Alright. Uh, Alright, calm down. Take a deep breath. Don't worry, I don't think anything bad will happen the fact that you can't remember who knows how much of your life. No! No! <sighs> It. 
I can't remember anything. Where am I? Who am I? Why can't I remember? Because you have amnesia. We went over this. Inside your pocket. Huh? Check your belongings. Wh who's there? Am I hearing things too? I lost my memories and now I'm hearing things. What's going on? Ow! <laughs> you might want to get out of that room so you don't lose how many more precious memories that you have by books. Oh, Can you imagine now? that you just catch a break? You're just relaxing somewhere and you just get hit in the head multiple times by objects. I'm gonna like I'm gonna say it right now probably this is probably gonna happen in this story him being in here is probably gonna lead to something bigger way down the line it's probably gonna be some big boss and he's gonna be like oh my god that's why I was in this room this whole time watch check my belongings uh huh Envelope. Have any of you guys played this game before? And if you guys have, please do not spoil it for me in the chat. Notice. You were here by dispatch to optimization zone of dispatch indefinite. <laughs> they said leave, do not come back. <laughs> Using enclosed a uh, ticket to board the I will butcher that word. Am Am oh my god. Express to Kanya Ward. Ron oh my god, I'm butchering words today. Please read! <laughs> With the master detective on site. Upon Robert proceed to Nocturnal Detective Agency, World Detective Organization, Kanya Ward Branch. World Detective Organization, Human Resources. Dear Yuma Coco Head, you are hereby dispatched to the special autonomous zone of Kanai Ward. Oh, so you're just gonna read it anyway, all right. Dispatch duration indefinite. Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai Ward. Rendezvous with the master detectives on site. Upon arrival, Proceed to the Nocturnal Detective Agency, World Detective Organization. Kanai Ward, there you will receive further instructions. Go forth, proud detectives. <laughs> Eliminate all mysteries from this world. Really? Who told you this? Go forth, my proud disciples. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. I can just hear that person who wrote this now. Just, oh my god. Yuma Coco Head? That's my name? Your name, your last name is Coco Head. <sighs> Shit, just go all the way and just say Coconut Head. <laughs> just, just go all the way, just... <laughs> Thinking on it, I guess that sounds right. Aw, thank you! And your model is pretty too. And how far did you get on your game, by the way? I had to leave a little early from your last stream. That's right! I finally remember! My name is Yuma! I'm Yuma Coco Head! Yes, uh, 16. Someone please change this boy's last name. <laughs> I wish I could just cross it out and just put coconut head. Just <laughs> come on, someone, someone was playing playing around. Oh, you're almost done. That's good. Really? But what's this about a world detective organization? 
It sounds significant. Am I a part of it? If that's the case... <laughs> my outfit? Oh my god. <laughs> I think I show you the whole thing, please. Yeah, it's a short little dress. I want to get her more outfits one day. One of these days, I'm going to do that. Am I a detective? I guess these kind of look like a detective's clothes. I'm glad you like the outfit. I see all these people like remodeling their models and I'm just like, should I remodel my model? I mean, I know I want to give her new outfits one day, but I don't know if I want to remodel her. Oh yeah, I've seen people do that. And it truly shows how if people are really watching you or not. Cause if you get recognized, you're like, <gasps> Seems I was supposed to get on a train, or at least I think so. Have you seen the when they go to cons and it's actually the VTuber there? Like it's not in cosplay, like the actual model is there greeting everybody, doing autographs and stuff. Master detectives? Am I one of them? I feel like you just said this. Could there be someone who knows me on the train? Here's the ticket. Let's check the schedule. Hey, it's almost time. Well, I should get on that train. I'll find out more about myself if I meet someone who knows me. You know, I find it really ironic that in the last Danganronpa game, we were the ultimate de uh, detective, and here, we are also a detective. Attention! Inspect. Oh, that's the same. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa! Oh. Hello, move it. Oh. oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. What is what is the button for that? <sighs> gotta stay in that detective mindset. Sure hope you got all that down. Oh yeah, I've also seen people like cosplay as like their uh, OC characters. Wait, but how do you get more points? I had seen like oh. Read! Read and you'll know the answer! Don't you forget! Okay. So there is no voice acting. I do have to give the voices out. <sighs> For well, he's he's getting my normal voice. I'm I'm sorry. You gave him normal voice. Stuff might fall if I try to move it. I better not go back there. It's not that I don't mind voice acting. It's just that it hurts eventually. Why are there so many umbrellas? The label reads, Lost Items Temporary Storage. Wait, what? why? Why can you read this one? 
But you can't read the other one. But so so that so that little item back there that was good enough for your voice. Bags, hats, and books. A lot of stuff has been placed here. A toy robot? It looks sturdy. The label says, lost items. This is... There's a cardboard box here I can peek inside. What? Well, why are some, some things worthy of your voice and some things aren't? I don't understand. So did I get everything? Seems like it. I get it. The place where I was sleeping was in fact... Uh, station's lost and found. Yeah. That's right! I've been sleeping in a station's lost and found section. But why was I sleeping here? Did I faint or was I attacked? If so, then who did it? Attention passengers departing this station direct to Kanai Ward on the Amaterasu Express. Please board immediately. The train will depart soon. Uh, I have to get on that train. I better hurry. Who knows how long he was sleeping there. His boots, I love them. I love the glow on the bottom. Three hours later. Six hours later. All right, there we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. The Amaterasu Express will now Wow. This is a fancy ass train. I want to be on that train. Oh, made it in time. You know what I'm kind of wondering? When he does eventually get his memory back, will his personality change along with him? Because that tends to happen with people who have, like, amnesia in these stories. Like, they become, like, this innocent, or, like, I don't want to say, they become who they were before, like, traumatic things happen. And I'm kind of wondering, will his personality change when he gets certain memories back, or when he gets his whole memory back? Thank you for choosing the Amaterasu Express Direct to Kanai Ward. <gasps> did, Demon Lord, did the did the sound not play? Let me know if it did or not. Ah. Oh. Did you not play? Sorry, I'm investigating. <laughs> this thing ever does what it's supposed to. Every stream, every time I stream, 
something goes wrong. It's always something. It's it's never we can have a stream <laughs> that you know everything's working. Like something always has to be amiss. No, what happened? Oh no, <laughs> no! No, 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 no. Okay, I think we're back. <laughs> No! Oh no! I was fiddling things. I was fiddling with dials. I'm looking away. Next thing I know, I heard the thing go click. I'm like, oh. hydrate. Oh man, that means I had to get up and go give me some water because I don't have anything like within reach. I'm gonna do that in a second. Uh, oh my god, it scared me. I'm scared to click on anything else. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're. I'm gonna figure that out offline. I'm gonna figure out the the sound alerts and why they're not working. <laughs> it's just in fear of something else going wrong on this stream. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to leave that alone. Um, I'm gonna go give me some water. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Ah, oh, jeez. Our train utilizes Amaterasu Corporation's state-of-the-art technology for an automated, safe, and comfortable service. You say that something explodes, train derails. There is no crew aboard the train. Thank you for your understanding and support. Would that? I don't know if that would make me feel better. Would that make you feel better if this was a train operated solely by computer? There were no humans at all involved in getting to your destination. I don't know. I have mixed feelings. Automatic? So nobody's driving this thing. It's like those cars that they say, "Oh, it drives itself." There's a computer, and I'm just like. Uh, one day your GPS is gonna say, uh, you know, I'm tired of you yelling at me when I tell you to reroute and then drives you off a cliff. <laughs> this train has five cars. 
It will operate non-stop to its destination. Cut off your foot. Cut off your foot? Why would I cut off your foot? <laughs> Not you sending the emoji tell me to come cut off your foot. What? What is happening? Oh, you rolled your ankle? Oh no. How'd you do that? What were you doing? Food and beverages are available in car two. Restrooms are available in car one and car five. Bet money somebody's in all these little cars right now and they're gonna be looking at him like, what's up, why are you here? Oh, you stepped in a hole, Oh, dang, I'm sorry. It just, you know, rest your foot, put some ice on it. Hopefully you don't have to, you know, go to the doctor for that. In case of an emergency, visit the backup control room in car three and contact control headquarters via the intercom. We hope you enjoy your trip aboard the Amaterasu Express on your journey to Kanai Ward. So there are five cars. This must be car one at the front. I'd better find the other detectives and meet up with them. If we use this... Mm, when info... Uh, I said info. <laughs> info gets uh, updated, it will be marked with new. Up, down, right, click, return. Yo, check, check! Whoa, this stuff's vital! You definitely want to remember this. And that's a wrap! Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, that's what I was looking for. I was like, what's the button for the thing you just showed me? Case files. If you're that lost, why not check your notes? <clears throat> Yuma awoke in a room at the train station with amnesia. In his possession was a notice from the World Detective Organization that stated his name in orders to be dispatched to Kanye World. So he hurried onto the Amistor. Oh my god, I'm still gonna butcher this word! Sorry! <laughs> Express, just as departed. On the Express, I'm just gonna skip that word. <laughs> I'm tired of butchering it! There was. Evidently, a number of master detectives who could be considered Yuma's colleagues. Okay, so he's kind of like hoping people know him. What if you have no friends? <laughs> what if everyone hates you? Use whatever you gotta to get the job done. Burn it that's, into your brain. That's gonna be like really awkward. Yeah, yes, I know. Get, get me out of the screen. Thank you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just read it automatically. I was like, wait, hold on. <laughs> you don't know your blood type. You don't know your birthday. You don't know your t you. It says master detective. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> that is your talent. Oh well. I mean, if we're not going off the last game series, then it kind of makes sense. But at the same time, it's like. It's like when someone says, I'm an accountant. And they say, okay, what's your talent? I don't know. Obviously your talent would be counting numbers or math. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this is no brainer. <laughs> Why is it a question mark? Your, oh, and your birthday, that means you don't know crap about yourself. But Master Ted with amnesia, his small build is unsuitable for physical confrontation. A lack of self-confidence results in a tendency to frequently complain. <laughs> However, he possesses a strong sense of justice and selflessly tries to help anyone in need. How do you notice about yourself? You just said you don't remember anything. It's so simple. I see. Just go through, you know, all that. Just... Wait, there's more? Did I miss something? Oh, I did. Yeah, we can, we, we can 
save. We, we can save, you know. And it's, it's not wrong. No, nothing wrong with that. I wonder how many secrets are in this game. I'm going off of my veteran knowledge of Danganronpa <laughs> to say this. Restroom. There's a sink and toilet inside. This must be the restroom. That is a nice bathroom. There's no one inside it right now. What are you hoping there was? You just open doors and just be like, huh, I wonder what's inside this bathroom. Oh, you were in it? Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. I can see my reflection in the perfectly polished mirror. I'm still not used to it. Is that really my Oh, he's disappointed in his own face. No. He's telling his own self, I'm ugly. <laughs> Have some confidence in yourself. My God. I know your last name is Coco Head, but, you know, we can change that. You know, different hairstyle. You know, maybe some confidence, some self-esteem won't hurt. <laughs> The, uh, the restroom window looks fixed in place so it can't be opened. I don't see any of the detectives through the window. Time to move on. I mean, if you did, you'd only see them for like a split second. Excuse me. I guess there's no one here. Can we run? I feel like- I feel like we should run. Be able. I have the ability to run. I see a clean looking bed. This is probably the infirmary. It's locked, but there's no one inside. Wait, can I go inside the infirmary? I can't. I can go to the bathroom, but not the infirmary. Huh? I wonder why it's locked. What are people supposed to do if they get sick? That's what I was gonna do. I didn't know that was like go some place else. It says main control room B. The door is locked and won't open. I see a driver's seat in there, but no one's inside. There's a machine, but it's not on. Is there more? Uh looks like this is main control room B. There's sides. No oh. There's no one inside and the machines aren't running. Maybe it's not being used right now. Either way, the door is locked, so I can't go inside. I should look elsewhere. Okay. Well, uh, was there more to like the inf Wait, do I have to wait? To yeah, I oh, I have to wait till it gets grayed out. Was this grayed out? Wait, does it gray work? What am I missing? Huh? Okay, so it's telling me the same thing. So it must be something back here that I missed. Ah, here we go. It says main control room A. Door's locked. It won't open. There's a driver's seat inside, but no one's there. The machine appears to be functioning. That must be the automatic operation device. Driver's seat's on both sides of the train. I think that means they can go in either direction. Oh. Kind of sounded like a real detective there. Uh, uh, you guys can't see me right now, but I am face palming. <laughs> Just, uh, if nothing that you have learned so far has made you think you're a detective, I don't know what else will. Just, it's a map of the train. The first and last cars can control the train. 
The rest are passenger cars. Okay. This is going to be significant later. It won't open. I guess that's obvious. And this is the front car. The nose of the train is just beyond it. If it opened, I could fall off. Okay, so I think now I got everything. So I should be able to. I need. I want to run so bad. <laughs> I want to run so bad. Huh? Someone's there. I heard a voice behind the door. You got some good ears because I didn't hear nothing. <laughs> Okay, why did he look like he was in Candyland just now? What? <laughs> look at his face, like he's just so happy. And I'm just like, why do you look like that? Excuse me. Are you with the World Detective Organization? You are, right? You're Master Detectives, aren't you? Uh, and they're probably just gonna look at him and just be like, Yeah, so are you? Um... We are. But who are you? Um, I'm with you. I think I'm also a master detective of the World Detective Organization. A boy like you? Master detective of the WDO? It seems like it. Seems like it? Yeah, exactly. Like, you're not making, like, a, per a good first impression of yourself. Just... Like hell, dumbass! Huh? A runt like you, a master detective? I don't think you you can say that. I mean, you look like <laughs> you you look like a thug that just came off and just just you know got on the train and just said they were so. You're just shooting your mouth off. You look like a shriveled ant eater. Ant eater. What's the meaning of this? You got a lot of nerve posing as a master detective. You wanna die right here, right now? W wait please hear me out! Oh, right! I, I have proof that I'm a master detective! A letter? From the World Detective Organization? It's real. There's no mistake about it. What? Are you serious? Looks like there's a reason behind this. Go ahead and tell us. I'll allow it. I allow it? Oh. Right. Thank you. He said, I allow it. What do you mean you allow? I was gonna tell you anyway, whether you liked it or not. But there's really not much to explain. <laughs> what is this fast forward? And that's what happened. Amnesia. Looks that way. I was hoping one of you would know who I am. Apparently not. No way. We're on the same team, but no one knows me? Then who am I? That's what I want to know. Besides, even if the letter is real, you may not be the right recipient. Why do you suspect me? There is a reason why. But first, do you know what the World Detective Organization is all about? Um, a little bit? I think I remember a little. Or not. 
Guess not. So you called yourself a member without even knowing. Pretty much. Yes. Sorry. Well, I suppose it's a master detective's duty to shepherd the lost. His voice sounds familiar too. I'm trying to place him. Who's who? Oh my God! So many familiar. Yeah, so many familiar. Speak! <laughs> I can't read. I can't speak today. <laughs> Just what is going on? But his voice sounds so familiar, and so does the ghost. Both their voices sound very familiar, I, but I can't place them. Very well. I'll tell you. Maybe you'll regain your memories after hearing what I have to say. Uh, uh, thank you. The only one who hasn't spoken is this old man. Is what? What is going on with you? <laughs> okay, that's all you got. All right. What? Nobody wants to talk to me. Like, absolutely nobody. Oh. <laughs> Everyone's just like, eh. Let's do things logically. Okay. Uh... Ah, I was hoping that it would let me explore first, but I guess not. Listen up, the World Detective Organization is an extra-legal, extra-privileged organization devoted to eradicating the world's unsolved mysteries. Their branches exist throughout the world, and their investigations are handled by master detectives. As of now, there are roughly 1,000 master detectives in the WDO. All have powers specializing in investigative work. Okay. Powers? They are supernatural powers used in investigation, known as forensic fortes. So somebody, so every person has like a different power to help them solve crimes? Okay. Then what's mine? People who develop talents such as clairvoyant or mind reading. I bet his with his ears. That it's probably like he can hear like he's got super good hearing or he can like detect when someone's lying or something like that they train at the organization to harness these special powers which aid in their investigations those who manage to gain a forte are recognized as master detectives and given a detective deed which means if you're a master detective it should say so on your license. Detective Deed? It's an identification card. Check your pockets. I don't have one, do I? I don't have one. If you don't have a Detective Deed, you ain't one of us. Even if you got one, I'd suspect it's fake anyway. I feel like we're gonna shut your mouth eventually. I can feel it. Oh, hold on, I'm not trying to trick anyone. Um, pardon me. He seems to be the only one accused of being an imposter. But how about the rest of you? If you require he has some sort of proof, then the same would apply to everyone here. Huh? The hell did you just say? You heard her, she didn't stutter. She's right. Everyone here has just met for the first time. Naturally, we would doubt one another. Oh, so they're not friends or a team. Like, these are all strangers in a room right now. Okay. Huh? First time? So, you guys don't know each other? Master detectives rarely meet together. We each travel the world on our own solving cases oh so this is the first time that there's just been a collective in a room like this going at the same time i've never seen so many gathered together for a case like this we thought all of the summoned members had shown up and were about to start introductions then you walked in i 
see. Well, let's start the introductions. We'll include the tardy one as well. What? You still want to do introductions? With the imposter too? Well, the thing is, you don't know he's an imposter. And the fact that you're including that there's an imposter within the group already means you've already suspected that before I walked in. So, what's going on? It's vital for us to ascertain each of our identities moving forward. All the more reason due to this uh, perplexing circumstance. Perplexing circumstance? What does he mean by that? Now, let's begin. I'll go first. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Zilch Alexander. That fits. I can, I can see that. <laughs> he looks so proud of himself too. I'm from the Southern Forest Preserve District's detective agency. They call me Nature's mediator. I love people, nature, and the harmony between them. However, there are times when some would attempt to ruin that harmony. My specialty is in handling those people. Have you heard of the chain of mysterious murders surrounding the dam construction at Souls Lake? Rumor has it that one by one, Everyone involved with the dam's construction died, all cursed by a sunken ritual site. Okay. It was a once-in-a-century difficult case. The one who solved it was none other than myself. There wasn't much to it. The culprits were locals who wanted the rights to the dam for themselves. The strange part is that all 52 villagers were in on it. What? They all kept their lips sewn shut to protect the secret. A whole village was in on a murder? How does that happen? I'll let you figure out what that means. When harmony between man and nature is disrupted, disaster strikes. That is one thing I have learned as a detective. Nature's mediator? He does look like a good detective. Though he suspected me, he still gave me a fair chance to explain myself. It just came to mind that this guy is basically the nice version of Bi uh, Byakuya. <laughs> Byakuya Tugami. <laughs> that's, that's literally what this dude is. He looks a bit intense, but maybe he's a good person. No, don't don't say that. He'll rip you to pieces eventually down the line. I'll describe my forte as well. I'm uncomfortable exposing classified information regarding investigators, but this is an emergency. My forte is animal investigation. I can control animals as I wish, and recruit them from my inquiries. Quite fitting for the philanthropist that I am. Okay. Though useful in many ways, I mainly use it to gather intel. It allows me to survey a target while remaining undetected. As a basic rule, I can only control four-legged mammals. Less intelligent animals are easier to control. I often use mice. They're the perfect animals for undercover investigations. Unfortunately, I can't show it off right now, because there aren't any mice on this train. Not only is he a good detective, but he also has those powers. Everyone has one, and so do you. You know you don't know what it is. He really is impressive. That is all from me. With love, I yield to the next person. An introduction. Introduce myself. Yes. 
a subjective observation of one's own self-image explained objectively. Yes? Uh, are you okay? Did I do something that caused you concern? I mean, you just explained what an introduction is without explaining yourself, so yes. <laughs> uh, no, it's just you seem to be having difficulty introducing yourself. I rarely have a need to do so, so I was considering what approach to take. After all, is there such a thing as a self in the first place? All I am is a bundle of nervous tissue reacting to external stimuli. If I had to, I guess I'd call myself Gucci Lavman. What? There, there, there is something wrong with you. <laughs> so, your name is Poochie then? Poochie? These names. Names are meaningless. A method of arbitrary labeling for self recognition. Symbols for categorization. Nothing more. Who's coming up with these names for the game? To that end, it serves the same purpose as a detective deed. Or so I, Poochie, believe. She seems a bit odd. Yes. Most of the World Detective Organization's work is investigating unsolved mysteries. I was trusted with many bureaucratic investigations. My clients are mainly enterprises and politicians. Depending on the client, I use my forte to see if the transaction party is trustworthy. Ah, I see how that ability would be useful when it comes to politicians and, you know, uh, high corporations. My forte is known as audio aptitude. When I concentrate, I can hear anything from distant whispers, footsteps, and even heartbeats. Okay, so I got the initial thing wrong when I first saw, um, Coochie and Zilch. I thought Zilch was the one that would have the good hearing because of his ears, but it's actually her. Okay. No one is safe to speak of their secrets when I, Coochie, am around. Oh, then did you hear anything suspicious at the station? Uh, maybe we can figure out what happened to me. Unfortunately, unless I focus my efforts on listening, I'm unable to hear things far away. Oh, I see. Constantly listening in on all sounds leads to a sensation of my physical boundaries within reality dissolving away. Oh, so she has to concentrate. My already tenuous sense of self starts to vanish, which is why I tend to close my ears unless I'm using my powers. Being blessed with powers sure comes at a price. Did she always act in such a strange way? Or did it develop after she obtained her forte? Regardless, she definitely has a distinct air about her. That is all I have to say about myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Waifu. <laughs> cute moment. She tried to be like, you know, like cool and aloof, but then she just had a cute moment. <laughs> oh. This part of her seems a bit more normal. Oh my god. I love that. Alright, how about you? Hey, young man. Mm -hmm. Me? That's right. Come here. Stand before me. Are you gonna slap me or something? Give me head pets? Ooh, why? Oh, you get a hug, okay. Uh, I knew. Whoa. Huh? What's going on? I knew it was gonna be some kind of, some kind of affection. It's like... Hmm. I 
I'm measuring you. Measuring? Uh, um... <laughs> Stay still for just a second. I'll be quick. Thank you. That was quite educational. That outfit fits you well. My name is Melanie Goldmine. My home is rather far north from here. Up there is a branch with detectives adept at spiritism. I was also active there as a medium. Okay. Spirit medium. Got it. A medium? I can summon the souls of the dead by using my body as a vessel. Summon a soul? Can you summon anyone who has died? Like, for example, the victim of a crime? Uh, <laughs> sorry, my phone went off for a second. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I'm not expecting my phone to go off like that. Yes, of course. But there is one condition. I require the clothes that person wore while they were still alive. Oh. Oh, jeez. I mean, um, Ace Attorney. Like, there was someone, like, you know, spirit me, but, you know, there were certain conditions. You have to wear what they had on before they died or while they were still alive uh. only by wearing their clothes can i summon their soul hence why my powers don't work on people smaller than me or if the person is far bigger overall the size must match oh so there are a lot of restrictions on her ability also I can't abide outfits with no fashion sense. Filthy, reeking clothes are always out of the question. That sounds more like a preference than a condition. Clothes make a man. They reveal all about one's livelihood. Like skin worn over skin. That's what clothes are all about. Consider that when compared to bare skin, Clothing has a greater surface area seen by other people. Therefore, clothes are an expression of a person's identity and originality. Okay. You ever think about how you've never heard of ghosts being naked? Sorry, I'm in my phone right now. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Pause, pause. <laughs> pause right quick. Ghosts wear clothing because those clothes are a part of their identity. Huh. I mean, I mean, I mean, that's true. Most of the time when you see, like, ghosts in anime or something like that, they're always wearing what they last had on. And so, that kind of makes sense. Okay. Now that you mention it... That's why, despite your amnesia, I can tell the kind of person you are just by looking at the clothes you wear. Really? Because I'm wearing a uniform. Really? Your uniform is undoubtedly an official one supplied by the WDO. And I found it fits you perfectly after measuring your size. I don't think it could possibly belong to someone else. Which means I really am a master detective? Am I one or not? I can't figure it out without my memory coming back to there, me. You have so much evidence saying that you are. Like, if you are, I'm gonna be shocked. That's all I have to say. 
I'm the medium detective Melanie. Nice to meet you all. It, you get nothing from me. <laughs> You're gonna be last. I am Zange Eraser. I come from a detective agency on the front lines, far from here. But then, in the war. <laughs> I really feel like he's about to tell me a war story right now. I just now noticed your lip piercings. Perhaps you expect an introduction, but I have nothing to say. Let the past melt like ice in an evening stream. That's how I live my life. My forte is thoughtography. I can transcribe images from my memory onto electronics. I want to see how that would work out. That's all for me. There's no need for any further explanations. Really? I, I want a demo. I want to see you do it. <laughs> like, I, I, I gotta visually see that ability. There's clearly something extraordinary about him. And now for you. I'm Aphex Logan. I'm from the detective branch in the eastern slums. Sorry, I was doing my phone again. <laughs> Sorry for that. Wow, that's all I'm gonna get from you? All right. You say I'm not telling you nothing about myself. They call me a master detective now, but I'm originally a broke, illegal immigrant. When I was a kid, I was in an upstanding home, living an upstanding life. My parents were lawyers who never tolerated injustice. They should have left well enough alone with that local mafioso. Because they went after him, they were murdered. Their necks were cut open, right in front of me. Okay. That's awful. I ran away to protect myself and jumped on a ship at the port. I didn't know where the ship was going. That was the moment I threw away my past and my home. As you just told me your entire life story. I drifted to the slums and did everything I could to survive. I managed to survive until now, thanks to luck. With my natural talents, I was able to become a detective, but... I also wanted revenge. I can't stand evil. But even if you ain't evil, I'll show no mercy to those who stand in my way. Can you please remove the hat? I can't get over it. Just, <laughs> I just can't get over your hat. Why? Why is it like this? I explain, like... If I can't figure out the difference between the good guys and the baddies, and I just beat up both of them. Jeez. Kill or be killed is my motto. 
more like just kill everybody because I can't use my brain to figure it out. He looks scary, but that's not all. I think there's a deep sadness within him. I can't share details about my forte. Just know it's kind of like radar. That's all you're going to tell us? You got a problem with that, you tiny runt? Damn, why are you coming at me? Not at all. You sure are a frail looking kid, aren't you? And pale to boot. Like disaster's got its claws on you. You sure nothing weird is haunting you? No way! <laughs> hey, you actually do have something haunting you. A detective's gotta be tough. How about a little training? First, you'll need to get used to stab wounds. We'll start with an ice pick, then scissors, then a fruit knife. No thanks. Don't be shy, runt. He just wants to stab no, you. I'm fine. <laughs> Here, here's some training. You should just brace yourself for the stab wound I'm about to give you. <laughs> just say you want to stab me because you don't trust me. Jeez. <laughs> Too bad. Lastly, it's your turn, Yuma. Aside from having amnesia, is there anything else we should know about? I still can't remember anything. If you really are a master detective, then you should have some sort of forte. I have no idea. Oh, young man, are you sure you don't remember? about the kind of clothes you usually wear, or brands you like. You only inquired about clothing. Maybe you'll remember after a few punches to the head. Hold on! Aphex, stop that. If you knock him out, he won't be able to speak. The perplexing circumstance we face may have something to do with his memories. That's right, I was wondering about that. What do you mean by perplexing circumstance? Did something happen? Well... Something unexpected has occurred on our trip. The number of people is off. Please tell me he wasn't supposed to be there, like, like he said extra they weren't expecting. The number of people? I, Hoochie, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was... Precisely five. Yep. There's an extra person. Five? One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of us. I also heard from the WDO that five master detectives will gather on board. So yeah, that's why I knew it. I called it like even like even before we got to this point. I knew they were already fighting about an imposter, which is why they like zoned in on him. So he's already like in the red zone. He came in late, got amnesia, he has a mysterious letter, and like he doesn't know what his uh his forte is. Like he's the most suspicious out of all of them. So they're just staring at him like, uh you're not supposed to be here. But could there just be a case? Well, I'm suspecting the old man because he's not wearing a uniform. I'm gonna have to take another look at him, but I'm, I don't, he's not wearing the uniform at all. Second, like, you just said it's unusual for a bunch of y'all to be on the train at once. 
but that doesn't mean there's cases where there could be a group or just a bunch of solos on a train. Maybe that's what's going on here. Has that ever been considered? You know, using my big brain here. Hence why when you called yourself a master detective, I was honestly surprised. I knew this job wouldn't be easy, but there's already a mystery before us. See, look, yeah, he's not wearing it. Like, who are you, sir? <laughs> this is getting exciting. It's obvious what's going on. There's an imposter among us. It's not me. I... Don't say I think. Say it with confidence. Jeez. How about we contact the WDO and find out? It could be a mistake. It's no use. I can't reach them. There's no signal here. <laughs> Who could the uninvited sixth guest be? Yeah, they're all just staring at... It's obvious. I'm the most suspicious. Especially with my amnesia in this situation. Could I be the imposter? And I just can't remember? I am the sixth one here. Alright, I got it. Hey, since you're all clueless, I'm gonna tell you my extra sharp deduction. You're gonna go for him, just... You may speak. I'll allow it. Why would I need your permission? <laughs> yeah, he was just like, why do I need your permission? Whatever. Way I see it, the runt here ain't the imposter. What? I was actually expecting you to come after me, just... Huh? It'd be boring if the most suspicious one is the culprit. Yeah, no, which is true. I was gonna say mine. It's just like, it, it's never the one that's the most suspicious. It's always the one no one's suspecting. The run must have been attacked by the real culprit. The memory loss is a side effect of the attack. And the imposter's motive? Why would they attack Yuma? To pretend to be a master detective and replace the runt on the train. Ah, so he wasn't supposed to make it on the train. I'm, I'm suspecting the old man, because he's the only one who doesn't look like any of them. Like, he's the, he's the only one in the entire group that's not wearing a uniform. The plan was going smoothly, but the runt suddenly woke up. He got on the train right before it departed, and the results stand before us. Obviously, the imposter miscalculated. The runt's gotta be tougher than he looks. Oh, that's a surprisingly proper deduction. Then I thought you'd be the most useless one here. Why, thank you. She just insulted you. In other words, I was knocked out at the station because someone attacked me? But I don't think I've been injured. Uh, yeah, could you see me lying on the floor? Um, unless they like put him to sleep or something like that. Just, or slip something in his food. Maybe he was like munching on like a protein bar or something like that. Excuse me, my deduction is slightly different. Okay. Let's hear it. I'll allow it. Why do you keep saying that? <laughs> Stop acting like we need to get your permission. I suspect that the entire situation is a test designed by the World Detective Organization. A test? A WDO exam officer has disguised themselves as a member and is ascertaining our skills here. If that were the case, Yuma here could possibly be the exam officer. Me? An exam officer? Ha! <laughs> Bring it on! I don't care if it's the WDO or a hitman. If you want to test me, I'll show you what I got! What are you trying to do? For now, I'll check to see if there are other uninvited guests. 
I wouldn't want any accomplices lurking about. And how are you going to do that? Like this! Oh, because he's got a radar type ability. Let's go! Can 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 he see it? <gasps> okay. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> feeling overcame my whole body no signs of the enemy <sighs> turns out there really are just six of us on this train right now but the thing is for a radar type of dealer like, that he must have a limit like like what what is your radius like how far out can you use that ability plus is there any way to block that ability um what did you do I used my forte, life detection. I can detect life in a 50 meter radius and pinpoint its location. Let me guess, you can only detect them if they are alive. The mechanism is a trade secret, but I can say without a doubt that we're the only ones on this train. The reason why I say this is because he said life detection. Okay, so what about bodies? What about people that have just died? or are dying like <laughs> there there's a clear flaw in that ability there's so many flaws <laughs> and i feel like they're going to expose later talk all you want but who can verify that you're not lying we're never gonna get anywhere if you start doubting everything use your own damn powers to figure it out then i see so fortes come in handy at a time like this in that case, there's someone else with a power that can confirm if other passengers are on board. Wait. Okay. Um, Poochie, would it be possible for you to verify what Aphex said is true? Yes. I, Pucci, was contemplating it at the moment. Even if someone is hiding, my audio aptitude is able to detect their breathing and heartbeats. Shall I try? Yes, please. Hey, what's with the gloomy little girl? Don't tell me she's motion sick. She's using her audio aptitude to check if there are other passengers. Oh, really? Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. It'll prove I'm right. Yeah, like, he, he's about to get offended. <laughs> Shut. Huh? Shut up, you brain dead idiots! Pardon me. Would you mind quieting down for a bit? Yeah, you saw her. Concentrate. You saw how she just switched it, like, and her accent changed. Did y'all hear that? First, it, it was just kind of like aloof, and now it just kind of like, does she have like a split personality type thing, or is she just kind of like hiding her true feelings or something like that? She got oh my god, uh, when she got mad, it reminded me of another character. Uh, what is her name? Uh, she was the lolly with the the tea and always torturing people with, with her lying. Uh. Dang it. Ah, oh, I, I can see her in my head, but I cannot. Uh, I can't remember her name right now, oh my god. But she reminds me of her. And Dong and Rampa. Can he see their abilities or not? Because he always looks around confused. 
this sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Wait, is his ability to temporarily sense other abilities or take their abilities? Maybe? Does no one else hear it? What's going on? I finished. I cannot hear the heartbeats of anyone besides the six of us here. Though one could hold their breath, they still cannot stop their heart from beating. <laughs> In other words, there's no one else on this train. I, Hoochie, guarantee it. See? I told you so! Sorry for calling you gloomy earlier, little girl. You know... I'm glad you've confirmed my findings, but aren't our powers kind of the same? I can hear heartbeats from 500 meters away. <laughs> oh, that, so you have a smaller range than her? Is that what she's trying to say? So you're the useless one. Uh, so he has a, a smaller ra uh, smaller range in her. Quiet, you catty bitch! <laughs> Moving on, we've now got proof from two master detectives. We can say for sure that there are no other passengers. Though one may be a lying imposter, the other's statement can still be trusted. One of them, an imposter? But Aphex and Poochie both use their fortes. I could feel them using their powers, so I think it's safe to say both are master detectives. But I'm the only one who can sense their powers. No one else seems to have the same experience. Oh, uh, that's why they're saying, like, he's like, even if one of them was faking use of their powers that um, one of them could just lie. But he was just like, I felt them use their powers. So they have to be detectives. Why am I the only one? <laughs> What's wrong with you, old man? You gone senile or something? Can you all hear that? The sounds of a running train, the wheels of fate chugging along. In the same way, our fate continues to turn. This train will press on until we reach our destination. No one can get off midway, including the uninvited sixth. Let's discover which of us is the caged bird in here. <laughs> My fading detective spirit is revitalized once uh, again thanks I to do, this burning mystery. I do not like that image he has right now. <laughs> it looks so dark. I'm, I'm really gunning for the, the grandpa over here. I really think it's him. He's not wearing a uniform. He hasn't showed us his ability yet. Like, he looks evil as hell. Just, it has to be him. Not bad. Things are getting interesting. You're joking. What could the imposter even accomplish? We're all master detectives here. And yet we don't know who the fake one is. I've used my power, so obviously I'm the real deal. The gloomy girl detective also passes. She ain't no fake. So, how about the guy blowing smoke, huh? Why don't you go ahead and prove yourself with your forte? How about it, you four-eyed fox detective? There is a gnat flying around this room. <laughs> he keeps going from my face. As I have already explained, my power involves animals. Without them, I can't use it. Yep, he did say that. So, you're fine being considered a suspect then? You are free to think what you wish. 
Unfortunately, I can't prove myself either. Without a dead body, I can't use my powers as a medium. So don't you mean the dead body's clothes? You know, can, can we add that word in? Well, but without their clothes, I can't prove it. Now we've got two suspects. How about you, old man? I don't mind showing off, but it won't clear any suspicions. The sixth uninvited guest could possibly be a traitorous master detective with their own forte. That's true. Yeah, true. There's no end to this! To hell with it! Everybody line up! I'll deck you one by one! Oh my god. He just resorted to punch Whoever everybody. Out is safe, got it? The real deal! Don't pass out in one hit, then you gotta be the imposter! What? What kind of logic is that? Calm down. Let's do things logically, like the detectives we are. Pardon me. I suggest we investigate this, starting with the motive for the imposter's infiltration. Hmm, the motive. One possibility is that it's a test from the World Detective Organization. Are there any others? Um, uh, they could want to be like a mole for the case you're trying to get to? There are. You may speak. I'll allow it. Oh my god, why do keep saying that? For the hundredth time, why would they need your permission? The Amaterasu Corporation. They could be responsible for this. And your reasoning? Someone has been tailing me for the past few days. It started after I was first assigned to Kanai Ward. Wherever I went, I could sense the presence of someone in the shadows. But I could never catch them in the act. It was getting annoying, so I tried to bait them out. I walked around town in my underwear. What? And at last... They revealed themselves. Uh, why? And, and bet money it was just like a fan or a pervert, or you know what I'm saying? Just someone that wanted to take creepy pictures and put it in their basement there, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? It would probably have nothing to do with the case, most likely. Hold up. Did you just say that you. Hmm? Something the matter? <clears throat> Never mind. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> He's like, I'm not even gonna... <laughs> I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm not gonna touch that comment. <laughs> I avoid solving problems with violence, so I was unable to apprehend them. However, I saw them escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars with my own eyes. Why would Amaterasu Corp spy on you? Because they don't want Kanai Ward to be investigated. Perhaps this is the same situation. Which is why I think our uninvited sixth guest is a spy from Amaterasu. Alright, we're thinking alike here. It is like, you know. The spy has only one goal. To disrupt our trip to Kanai Ward. But if that's the case, they weren't suspecting to get caught this soon. Why they are pretending to be a master detective among us. But when they eventually be ex but well no, they did say that. They did say that um one of them could be like an old detective and already have a forte. So again, that's that's valid. That's valid. Hmm. So you believe Amaterasu is involved? Not impossible, though your reasoning is somewhat lacking.
I do not see how escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars is proof someone is a company spy. Well, that's fair. Um, excuse me. You keep talking about it, but what's Amaterasu Corporation? You just make yourself more and more suspicious. Are you kidding me? We gotta explain that too? It's fine. We can teach Yuma as we share information with one another. About the kind word about the express. I mean, the express kind of like spells it out for for ourselves. Just come on. What is the Amaterasu Corporation? In short, Amaterasu is a freaking huge company. You see their products practically everywhere in daily life. They make everything from kids' toys to fighter jets, Jeez. industrial goods, electronics, pharmaceuticals, everything. So they pretty much control the world at this point. Like, if you if you're making every product, if you're in every category, you this is this is their version of Amazon. This, this is Amazon. There it is. Big companies always got dark underbellies. With Amaterasu, with their smoke, there's a whole building burning down. That's a detective joke. Funny, huh? Sure, I got it, thanks. Speaking of, this train is called... The Amaterasu Express, isn't it? Yes. The Amaterasu Express is an entirely driverless train developed by the Amaterasu Corporation. The WDO made arrangements to prepare it for arrival at Kanai Ward. Normally, it has no passenger cars for the trip to Kanai Ward, but they added ours as a special exception. It features enough passenger space for all of us and a lavish dining car. Quite the warm welcome. A perfect setup to persuade us nothing is amiss in Kanai Ward. By the way, the windows and doors are completely locked until we arrive. They say it's for our safety. But I feel as though we're stuck in a big moving coffin. Yeah. They're like, oh, it's for your safety, you know, to make sure nothing, you know, can get you from outside. But I was like, but what about if you want to leave for some type of emergency? You kind of fucked. <laughs> All the sash windows are sealed, so they can't be opened. I, Poochie, confirmed it myself prior to the train's departure. Perhaps these measures were taken to prevent infiltrators or stowaways. Once it's en route, the Amaterasu Express becomes a box that's impossible to enter or exit. If you feel up to it, why don't you take a look around? But you can access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. Broken? Well, go ahead and see for yourself. Right. I can't tell, do we work for these people or not? Nah? Like, do we work for Amaterasu Corporation? Like, it doesn't seem like it, because they keep talking about them like, like as if they are the enemy. But they gave us this train, they accommodated us and all this good stuff, and it's just like, are we with them or not? Nah? <laughs> I can't, I can't. We're heading to Kanai Ward. What does that have to do with Amaterasu Corporation? It's fairly complicated, but Kanai Ward is essentially an Amaterasu Autonomous Zone. Previously, Kanai Ward was just another regional city. But as it was being developed by Amaterasu Corp, the city itself transformed. Factories, research labs, and affiliate companies were built. In no time, the whole place belonged to Amaterasu. As a matter of fact, Kanai Ward is essentially ruled by the Amaterasu Corporation. 
political power has no influence there. Since it's so isolated, no one has been traveling to and from Kanai Ward. Okay. Isolated? Exactly. Because of that, no information has been getting out, aside from rumors of unsolved cases. Oh, so there's chaos happening here, and because it's so isolated under this corporation's control, no information about it has been going out, just rumors of whoever works there, just kind of like, hey, there's some shit going on <laughs> at this place. Y'all might want to come down here. There's something up about it. This has been going on for years, but the unified government has been turning a blind eye to the whole thing. Because they don't want to lose all their goodies, that's why. They don't want to lose all their toys and jets and all the good stuff because if they make enemies with their all-powerful Amazon corporation that they got going on over here, they know they might lose out and not get them anymore or get high restrictions about it and they're gonna be like, ooh, and we'll be sweating. So, uh, so yeah, I can, I can understand why they wouldn't touch them. The Amaterasu Corporation's influence affects not just the UG, but the entire world. Oh, dang. Given the situation, the World Detective Organization couldn't wait any longer and decided to act. Okay, so we were just like, okay, f fuck the government. We're gonna figure out what's going on here. Like, that stuff, stuff is getting worse by the day, and we can't ignore it anymore. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna go and see. Either we get your approval or not. As a result, Master detectives are gathering in Kanai Ward. Which is why they said on our letter, indefinite, like, don't come back until you solve it. <laughs> That's pure speculation, mind you. We won't know the full details until we arrive. I see. Thank you very much. Has anything you heard sound familiar? It feels like my first time hearing about any of it. Sorry. I see. It's all right. Just tell us if you do remember anything. Thank you. He seems nice and all, but maybe he's the imposter. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought it was one of the characters, but I was like, oh no, it's the ghost. Um, did someone just speak? No. Hey, what's wrong? You've gone pale. How about you have something warm to drink and get some rest? Although we only seem to have coffee here. Dang. Do you drink it black? Or do you need some milk? Milk, please. I do not drink my coffee black. First of all, it's gross. Second. <laughs> Front probably wants milk. But there's nothing wrong with milk in your coffee, okay? <laughs> hey, how old are you anyway? I can't tell from the way you dress. Never mind him. Here, have a drink to warm yourself up. <sighs> Thank you. Why she was saying him again? What was that voice earlier? Am I hearing things? I have amnesia and now I'm hearing things. What's happening to me? I wonder if it has something to do with the sixth person. Besides, who is this sixth uninvited guest anyway? I should think about it a bit. Who is the most suspicious person here? No. 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 Now, are we going off your reasoning or mine? Because to me, he's the most suspicious person. But if he's just... Okay. 
looking at things objectively, the situation I'm in is pretty strange. Not to mention the mystery of my missing memories. Was it an accident, or did someone attack me? Obsolete, hi, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. How have you been? Hugs. <laughs> I know it's been a while since my last stream, but I am back. For now. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just looking at my internet like, please, please internet, <laughs> don't fail me. <laughs> don't make me cut off my stream early like you make me usually do. Regardless, I can't remember. So in the end, I'm the most suspicious one here. I'm still gunning for the grandpa, okay? Just, I think it's him until I get proven wrong. I think... It's Zang, okay? Is that his name? I wanted to get that wrong, but I think it's the no old man. how much I think about it, we have no proof of anything so far. I have plenty of proof. <laughs> it's called my brain. <laughs> it's called what I've seen so far. If I really am a master detective, I could have some useful powers. You do. You sense other people's powers. Hopefully you can take their powers too. That would be lovely. That would be quite convenient. I wonder if I can somehow remember what those powers were. I mean, you can get um, Witcherface over there to go and hit you over the head. That might work. <laughs> Remembering now won't do any good. There it is again. I keep hearing that voice. Jeez, what's happening to me? Hey, Runt! Uh-huh. Get over here. The old man is gonna show off his powers. Oh, he's gonna, I'm gonna see his I wanted to see his powers. Uh, Zange? Oh, Zange. I call him Zange. Zange. <laughs> but he was the one that just like didn't want to show them all, and I was like, I want to see it. I need a, I need a demo. Wait, before I resume. Oh, I'm, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. That's what it is. I'm like, yo, what is going on here? Animals dis dislikes destruction of nature. Master for the animal investigation. Okay, that tracks. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Just likes loud people. Yeah, we saw. We saw that. <laughs> this likes ugly, non heartwarming clothes. Okay. Life detection? Okay. This likes modern cell phones. Why? You need technology into the, into using your abilities. So that doesn't make sense. He was once a military detective involved in espionage. See, look, he was involved in espionage. There's more evidence that it's him. It's clearly him. People, please. I need to be on this train. And you're all fired. It has to be him. It has to be him. It has to be. If I am wrong, I'm going to be so shocked. It, it, it has to be him. Uh <laughs> Just go through all this. Show off your ability, I wanna see it. Although I am reluctant to do so, I shall demonstrate my forte. I, again, I'm gonna say, I am so thankful this game decided to voice act the characters because I, <laughs> to give everyone a voice, Every time I go live would have hurt me a lot. You forced my hand. Otherwise, suspicions will continue to mount against me. What's that? Your cell phone? I think so you just my... like phones. Oh, 
Okay. There it is again. I can feel Zonga using his forte. As I've said before, my power is photography. I can project my memories onto electronic mediums to generate and record footage. The recorded clip shows what occurred approximately five minutes ago. I suppose it's faster to simply show you. That's definitely the scene that took place about five minutes ago. I can only record about two to three seconds. Back in my prime, I was able to do ten. Oh, ten seconds. Also, as memories fade, the recorded footage will also fade. The rule of thumb is that it lasts around 48 hours. But by copying it to another device before it fades, footage can be used as evidence during investigations and in court. Question, sir. Is it possible for you to manipulate those images? Like if, for instance, you saw that image and for some reason, instead of it being a teacup, let it be like a mug or making the mug blue or a different color or changing someone's expression. Could you, could you have the ability to manipulate that image? Because if you can, you've probably gotten some people, you know, <laughs> uh, guilty in court <laughs> with your evidence. Yeah, it has been a minute since I've uh, uh since I've gone live. It's uh, I think my last time I got live was like in January, uh, which hurt. That hurt my soul because I told myself I was gonna stream more and I didn't. I vanished <laughs> into the ether. <laughs> um, but I've been doing well. It's just that a lot of things happened this year, and by the time I remember that I haven't streamed in so long, where it. it so much time has passed. I can't believe like we're halfway through the year already. It feels like only a month or two is gone. It doesn't feel like half the year has passed us. But yeah, I've been doing fine. Just, uh, just trying to juggle all the things I have going on. And I finally got time to stream. So, so hopefully I'll be able to stream more in the coming future. Pardon me, but are you sure this is photography? It appears as though you captured footage from a hidden camera. All you do is doubt everybody! Be constructive for once! You think being suspicious isn't constructive? Don't you believe that the truth lies beyond all suspicion? Oh yeah, and I'm playing this game because I'm a huge fan of the Rampa series. So when this game came out, I was like, yes, I'm definitely going to play it. Um, for right now, everyone reminds me of like an old character. It's like they took two characters of the old Rampa people and like mixed them together. Not like outworld, not like on the outside, but like on the inside. They're just like personalities that I recognize. And there's voice actors that I recognize, but I can't place them on who they were. And I'm gonna do some investigating when I go offline. <laughs> yep, a detective's job is to suspect others. Oh yes, and um, we have a ghost friend and our dude doesn't know it yet. I'm hearing things again. My memories haven't returned, and the voices keep getting louder. But how are you? It's how have you been doing? It's giving me a headache. It's like my own body doesn't belong to me. Oh my god. Young man, are you alright? The way he I just stumbled back. I'm sorry. I feel a little dizzy. I believe you should rest. Maybe a nap will help get your memories back. The passenger rooms from car three and beyond are all full, so you should use car one at the front. I believe there's an infirmary in there. It should be easy to monitor from where we're at in the second car. But the door was locked. Monitor? You've got some nerve. Will you be all right on your own? 
Or do you need some company? Sheesh, get a grip, will ya? Sorry. Huh? Did you say something? No, it's nothing. I'm all right. I can get there by myself. Oh my god, he's stumbling around. <laughs> I, I swear to you, I am pressing forward. I am not doing all this, like, all this, like, going to the side crap. That's all him doing that. It's a map of the train. Can it show, like, where I'm at right now? But the infirmary door was locked when we first came through. But he said you could just go in there like it was supposed to be unlocked. That means someone was in there. Or, yeah, I swear, if it's unlocked now, somebody was in there. Hold on, you're heading toward the third car. What? I, I just went over there. I just went over there and nothing seemed to be open. But if it's unlocked now, that means somebody was in there. But how can that be? Oh. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Hold on, on my phone again. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I just had to get close to the door. Okay. My bad. Wait, so... It's a map of the train. Okay, they said we can't enter the fifth one. So that was that. And there was no other infirmary. So we must have been in the infirmary the first time. We must have been. To match this map. So I, okay. So if it is open, magically, oh my God, no, no way. Magically, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> Because this says a bunch. Wait. Yeah, it, exactly. It's locked. You gotta find the key first. The key! Where's the key? Is it somewhere in the first car? I see, I see. If an entire area of the main map is shiny, that means a destination or investigative object is nearby. Let's take a closer look around. It opened. Yes. Um. <sighs> you, you good, bruh? Out. 
He said, nah. <gasps> It's time to get up! How long are you gonna sleep? Get up, up, up! Or I'll boon kill you! What does a- what does a boon kill do? You're a ghost. <laughs> what's, with the, what's with the drool? Huh? <laughs> So you can finally see cute little me. <laughs> it's all taking root. What's with this music? What? Huh? What is this thing? How can you call me a thing when I'm so adorable? Well, aren't you rude? It's talking! Not only am I hearing things, I'm seeing things too? I've completely lost it! What? When did we become your master? When did this happen? Master? That's right. We exchanged an intimate secret pact just between us. Don't say it like that. <laughs> okay? Uh, uh, leave out the intimate uh, part. How about that? In secret pact. Um, that was actually uh, between uh, you and me. Yeah, you know, you might want to turn your face over here to this gorgeous blue-haired demoness that you see before you. But, uh... <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. Don't say intimate. <laughs> Huh? What pact? What? You've forgotten all about how we were so passionately bound together? Don't say it like that! <laughs> <gasps> how cold of you! After I offered myself to you and you alone! I, I can't with you. I can't. <laughs> You're so irresponsible. Take ownership of your actions. Are you, what? <laughs> Are you pregnant? <laughs> what is happening? I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, kidding. Of course you forgot. That's part of the contract. Wait, did you give me the amnesia? So I. Oh my god, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, let me wrap myself, wrap my head around this. Did you give me the amnesia so I wasn't attacked? I made a pact with you and you erased my memories? Is that what happened? And if that's the case, why? <laughs> why would you do that? Why would you leave me in the lost and found storage room? Why, why couldn't we see you before? Like, what, what's, what's going on? Details, please. You, you better give me an explanation. <laughs> You don't get a deaf god for free, you know. If you want to eat, you gotta bring something to the table. So we exchanged our memories to get you as a companion? Is that what you're saying? Wait, what did you just say? A death god? Maybe you have a, sec a second form. I don't know. Call me Shinigami. Oh, you're Shinigami. Okay. All right. You're the cutest one I've seen yet. You have another name that we can uh, go by? Death God sounds so ominous and creepy. That ain't my style, you know. You, you do know Shimigami is pretty much the same thing, right? You just. I'm 
gonna argue. I'm just gonna move on with the story. <laughs> I'm too cute for that. I was born too pure and innocent. Uh huh. That's why I prefer to go by Shinigami. Anyway, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good answer, Master. You keep calling me Master. Wait, are you haunting me? Please, call me Shinigami. Shinigami? Yup, yup. Of course, I'm 100% haunting you. I'm haunting you, like your life depends on it. Why? What, what transpired for this to occur? That was your wish after all. That's why we made that contract. That's what I wanted? And for our sweet, sweet contract, you offered something in return. Offered? <gasps> you mean... You finally got it? You offered your own memories. Yep, I knew it. You tossed away your entire past and smashed our fates together. But why would I do that? That's why I have amnesia? The euphoria from completing our contract made you pass out in that room. Even though you woke up, it took some time for me to take root in you. But I can talk to you now, which makes me happy. That! Which is it? Why... Would I make a contract with you? Why did I offer my memories? Sorry, but I can't share the contract's details with you. Those are the rules. Are now are they your rules or the rules we made? Just in case we didn't like, you know, have our memories returned. Like what? What? The, like, can you give me a hint? In which it, it has to do something with this mission. It has to. Like, what would make what would make you so desperate that you would? I'm gonna say that she was summoned, summoned a death god, and make them have a contract with you, lose your entire memories of your past, and what what did she give in return? Like, what what do we get? Like, we gave you memories. What what do you give me? Like, what what is that? can do. That's the contract. By the way, Master, something's been bothering me. What is it? Two hours have gone by since you passed out. Huh? Two hours? Yep. And here I was, waiting for you to wake up. Admirable, right? <laughs> oh no, you've been passing the bed for two hours? I bet someone's someone was Someone's checked up on you, and they're just like, uh, he's gone. We can't find him. During that time, no one came to check on you. No one came to check on me? Man, y'all heartless. <laughs> Damn. I know y'all think I'm the imposter, but... Jeez. They're all so cruel, you know? Maybe they forgot about you. Speaking of, why am I here? Is this the restroom in the first car? That's right. I felt sick at the dining car, so I was looking for the key to the infirmary. You should watch your own health, Master. We share mind and body. When you feel sick, I get irritated too. Your haunting presence is probably why I felt sick in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> and then you scared the crap out of him in the mirror. He was like, oh. <laughs> hey, don't blame me. Anyway, you better hurry and take a look around. That's right. Where are the others? How far is this trip anyway? If we've been past it for two hours and still haven't hit our our destination then then how far is this? are we going like across the country like well actually what 
world are we in? Is I mean, I don't I don't know what the world looks like as a whole in this universe. So, ah, uh. you good? You sure you don't want to open it and check? Maybe a homicidal mannequin is hiding in there. <sighs> There's no way. You know what? Let me just check on the thingamabob. Because it says my check in on the master detectives. Like, still, they have not checked on me not one time. <laughs> You would think they would do this. Wait, what? I see, I see. Okay. Uh, likes Yuma, dislikes boredom ability. Yeah, you haven't revealed what we get out of this deal. I, I need more. Wait. Oh, oh, okay, those are just the number of profiles. I thought there was like multiple pictures or something. Update. Update of what? It says update. Update of what? Okay, now it's disappeared, okay. Um, just in case, we're going to save it. We're still- <laughs> we're still in chapter zero! <laughs> Train's on fire. It's me! How oh, mysterious! What? Weren't you watching over me the whole time? I can't be separated from you. That should be obvious since I'm haunting you. Oh, so she can't go far. All I saw was your dumb sleeping face in the restroom. I have no clue what happened outside. So what happened here? Hey, look, look! There's smoke coming in through the cracks of the door! Right! Is there a fire? Fire? So it's burning? <laughs> now I'm getting excited! Girl! <laughs> excited? We have to do something! Oh, so now I can run. Okay, so now that's a thing. <laughs> What's going on? <gasps> no! Zilch! My boy! <laughs> Now you're gonna look even more suspicious. There's too much smoke. I, I gotta help. Master, look. <gasps> All right. My boy Zilch! Zilch, no! Well, he's wearing glasses, so can it be Zilch? Why? Why did this happen? This freaking gnat keeps getting in front of my face. There is there is a tragedy happening and you want to fly in front of my face. <laughs> There's no time to rest. If you're a detective, you know what to do. Huh? Search the body. 
You need to confirm if someone is really dead by checking the body. Oh my gosh, she's got a pipe. <laughs> Me? Maybe I should ask for help. Why would a detective run from a corpse? Plus they would get in get in his way and then they would suspect him because he said he was going to the infirmary and the moment he says, oh, I was passing the bathroom, they're going to squint his eyes at him. It was like, okay, now you're really in the red and they're not going to let him near like the body and everything like that and all the good stuff. So yeah, you, you might as well just do your thing before they come here. I don't know that I'm a detective. Well, you sure are one. Otherwise, you wouldn't have asked for help from yours truly. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? I'll explain it another time. But since you've forgotten... I'll be your mentor and train you to be a proper detective. So, get to it. I'm really doing this. Uh, I mean, we can at least get a dead girl, this spirit medium, to come in here. Well, he's burnt to a crisp, so there's no clothes to wear. Of course. The mystery is practically solved when a detective is first on the scene. <sighs> you can do this, Coco Head. <laughs> oh man, this is a dark transition. Time to investigate! It's completely charred. No movement. No breathing either. I have to check, did he have glasses or not? <laughs> I'm really hoping with the glasses that it's not him. Even though it kind of showed him. <laughs> My boy Zilch! <laughs> no, I, I can't lose you. We're not even in chapter one yet. We're in chapter zero. Like... <laughs> We can't lose you this early. <laughs> I can't feel a pulse. The smell of burnt flesh is too much for me. If you got that burnt up and there was still a pulse, you are one strong SOB. A knife is still lodged in the chest. Okay, they were already dead before they got burnt. This is the only knife wound. I don't see any other injuries. Well, how's our corpse doing? Dead, without a doubt. That's so kinda charred after all. You really didn't even need to check. <sighs> don't be so glum. You had to check the corpse in any case. It's not that. I mean... If I'd noticed sooner... You were in the bathroom with apparently very good insulation because you didn't even notice until you left the bathroom. So don't blame yourself. You think you could have saved a life? Forget about it. If you're so worried, try CPR. Though, you'll be tasting soot doing that to such a charred corpse. <laughs> What's dead is dead. Never let that get you down. Right. I have to tell the others about this. I mean, this is a, a, a dead god telling you this, so to them, this is like an everyday occurrence. They're just like, oh, you're dead. Moving on, let me drink my tea. Hmm. Pinky out. Like. <laughs> mm, I smell a case. Okay, I, I have to check. I have to check just in case. Just in case. Um. No! No, he was wearing glasses. God damn it! Shit! No! Zilch, my boy! No! The coolest one out of the entire bunch is dead. Oh, no. I was really hoping with the glasses on the corpse, it wasn't gonna be I was like, okay, maybe this is someone else. Maybe this is like a twin brother. Maybe it was a lookalike. Maybe that's a mask. <laughs> I'm hoping with all my might. But no. My boy Zilch. Zilch, no! I wanted to see your powers in action. I wanted to see some cute animals. I, I wanted more time together. Just, you know. Why y'all taking out the coolest character they had by far in this entire game? The coolest character is gone, is dead. I, I can't believe y'all, like, how dare y'all do this to me, like... <laughs> oh. 
I'm so hurt by this. I would have talked to you more. <laughs> I would if I had known that you were about to be the first one taken out, I would have talked to you way more than what I was supposed to. Uh <laughs> don't you know. <laughs> your profile one last time. One of the master detectives you met on the Amsterdam, I still can't pronounce that word, Express is a Fad Judas conceded patronizing with a tendency toward leading the conversation, moving things along in a logical order. He was found dead, burnt to a crisp in the infirmary in the car, one with a knife protruding from his chest. Uh, and everyone here on this train is gonna blame us and think we did this. But also, also, wait, I'm trying to remember what he said before we met them. Did he see any? Did he say he saw anybody in the infirmary? Because if that's the case, if he did see that somebody was like in or he mentioned it, then this could be like a twin thing. Like they were switched, and because it was locked, no. Because I think he said someone was using it in the beginning, so that means that look like. I'm hoping this is just a look-alike. <laughs> I'm hoping this is just a look-alike. This was just in there. And they said, I gotta destroy the evidence. Set him on fire. Because even Zilch said that the door is unlocked. Which it clearly wasn't. Every time we checked it, it was locked every time. But he said it was unlocked. So I'm really crossing my fingers right now, hoping with all my might, that Zilch isn't dead and that was just a look-alike. Please let that be just a look-alike. <laughs> I can't have him dead in chapter zero. It's chapter zero. It's not even one. <laughs> it's an AED from the, uh, from the infirmary using this on Zilch now probably won't help me out. Well, you want to use it on the human charcoal? Come on! <laughs> if he did come back to life, he wouldn't be happy. I know he would not. I know I wouldn't be. I'd be like, why did you just let me die? This is medical. This is, this is medical equipment from the infirmary. I don't know how to use it. But if you did know how to use it, there's no saving someone that crispy. <laughs> Can you stop, please? <laughs> You're kind of worse than Monokuma about this, like, jeez! <laughs> Y'all two would get along! Okay, anything else? Is there anything else in the room? Check. Nope. Alright, now we gotta break the news. Hopefully Zilch is in there! Magically! In the room! Aw, oh, no one's in here. Dang it! What? What the? <gasps> no! No! Oh, okay. It's just Molly. <laughs> it's just Fashion Girl. I, I thought this. I thought this was the headphone girl. <laughs> I thought it was Miss Headphones. I thought it was. The, I thought it was Waifu. <laughs> because, uh, you know, I, I thought it was our first Waifu, and I was like, oh no, don't do this to me. But no, it's Fashion Girl. What happened? What is going on? Is this a dream? This has to be a dream, right? What happened in the last two hours? It's a nightmare! <laughs> Please, I want to wake up! I can't take this anymore! You're so pitiful, you know that? Are you sure you're the guy who sold your soul to me? I thought we sold our memories, not our soul. What are you anyway? Friend or foe? Neither. Your friend, of course. After all, you're my master. Isn't that nice? I'm your friend and I'll be haunting you till death do us part. Okay, so now she's with you till you're dead. I don't get it! Why would I make a contract with a death god? Wait, 
do they even really exist? Maybe this floating thing is just a figment of my imagination. You're gonna have this conversation now? Now, as there is a body, another body burnt to a crisp in front of you. You wanna make this, you know, you wanna make this, uh, this whole monologue right now. Shut your trap, you memoryless, courageless, brainless detective. This is a nightmare to you, then you gotta use all you've got. But what can I even do? That's why I'll be your teacher and mentor. I'll make you a proper detective yet. Just listen to me and everything will be a-okay. First, check the scene of the crime like you did earlier. Now stand up. Come on. <laughs> She's like, pull yourself together. Are you sure you're the same person that's that gave me your memories and wanted to risk it all? It's like, what am I dealing with right now? I'm so sorry. Y'all are dropping like flies right now. It's Nellamy, all right. She's completely burnt to a crisp, but I recognize what parts are left of her face. There's no pulse or breath. No doubt she's been dead for a while. There's a bottle of liquor nearby. Maybe that was used to start the fire. You found two corpses back to back? You sure are reeling them in! <laughs> Talk about beginner's luck! There's nothing lucky about this at all! So, what's the cause of death? I mean... I want to say burnt, but there are liquor, uh, liquor bottles around her, so maybe she was like hit in the back of the head or something. Huh? Oh, um, there aren't any obvious external wounds. So she burned to death. The other one also got incinerated. Such a cruel way to die. What's going on here? Oh, I'm sorry, I was supposed to read that. Could Melanie have been set on fire with this? <laughs> Alcohol is the best way to cook the stench out of meat. After all, <laughs> What a rich fragrance! Are you drinking? Master. If you don't stop, she is so... <laughs> she is, she's a trip, I swear. She's just like... Mm -hmm. And where did everyone go? What what happened in the last two hours? Y'all better not blame me for this. This is There are there are a bunch of liquor bottles on the shelf. Could they even use to set the on fire? Yeah, that's right! She was literally flambéed with some pricey looking liquor, huh? Not a bad way to go. went out for a moment and came back on. So my fear in the beginning of this train ride has now come to fruition. What I hoped wouldn't happen happened. When I was saying about the whole the train being manned by no humans at all, completely, you know, a driverless train run by a computer. This is my fear confirmed. Just that something like this would occur, and there is nothing you can do about it. Even Melamy said that she felt like she was in a coffin. She doesn't feel safe on the train. And now oh, she's dead. Um, and it really does seem like we're about to be sent to our death. Hopefully, it, it was just those two members. Why couldn't it be the grandpa and the, and the thug dude? Why couldn't they get burnt? <laughs> can we switch it up? <laughs> Oh my boy Zilch! I like Zilch. You remind me of Miyakia. But uh, 
Oh, it got dark outside. Looks like we're in a tunnel. Okay. Anyway, shouldn't you be hurrying? You should probably tell the other master detectives, yeah? If they're not dead. Right, that's right. Oh, I didn't know I can like squish you these that quickly. Hey! Is anyone there? We need help in the first two cars! Zonge! Pucci! Apex! Anybody! Where are they? <sighs> hmm, no response. I smell a tragedy. This is like the very picture of hell. What? <laughs> Woohoo! One mystery after another. I can't hold back from all this excitement. If we are like the only detective left alive on this train, I swear. We have to find the others right away. Know what I probably, I'm gonna guess happened? The imposter was like, oh shit. If I don't figure something out soon, I'm gonna get exposed. So, plan B, kill all the detectives on this train before they reach Kanye Ward. That's what I think is going through their head, whoever this is. Whoever I find alive, and you're the only detective I find alive, I'm gonna suspect you. And I still, to this day, suspect the grandpa. Until I am proven wrong, it is the grandpa. I'm getting excited here! Okay. Check room. Oh, please, please. Come on! This is some bullshit! Bullshit. Poochie, oh, no! no My waifu! <laughs> and that's number three! It's a hat trick! Or a turkey, right? <laughs> Miss Dilma! Master, if you don't want to end up like this, then you better be more prudent. Huh? The train hasn't gotten to the destination yet, and you can't get off halfway. Which means whoever killed these guys is still on the train, right? Yeah. But who would do such a thing? You'll find out if you investigate. You better nail it, Master. Regardless, you should leave the door open to be safe. Gotta make sure you don't get cornered. Yeah. What is going on? Oh, and she loved headphones. Oh, look at the cute headphones. No. Uh, Poochie, no! Poochie! I, I, when I first saw this scene, I thought it was two people like in bed together and they got burnt, but oh my god. It's Poochie's corpse. I can barely make out what's left of her face. She doesn't appear to have any external wounds. And the fact- you know what really occurred to me? The fact that she was just on the bed. Which means, was she like put to sleep before she was burned? The only one, the, the only ones that you know burned and looked violent was Melamie and Zilch. Both theirs looked violent. He got stabbed in the chest. She, I, I don't care what he says. I think she got hit over the head with a liquor bottle. But for her, she looked like she was like sleeping when this happened. But even when you're sleeping, you're like, ah, you're going crazy. But. That doesn't seem to be the case here. There's a blanket over her torso. Looks like she was burned when the blanket was set on fire. Yep, it's a corpse. Yeah, it's a corpse. <laughs> this is... This teddy bear might have been Fuji's personal belonging. You better be careful, Master. It might suddenly start uh, going pew 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 pew. pew. Uh, are you referencing Monokuma right now? Oh my God! Stop it! Stop it! <sighs> As if something that strange could ever happen. Sorry to break it to you, but uh, it's happened. This is. 
there's a set of cat ear headphones. Poochie must have had lots of headphones. Hmm. She never took off her headphones, even for a people, right? How rude. No, she was making sure she didn't hear everything. Let's not speak ill of the dead. I'm sure she had her reasons. Oh, my bad. This is. Hmm. Is this Poochie's bag? Maybe there's a weapon for self-defense inside. It'd be good for you to check it out. I'm sorry, Poochie. I'm taking a look inside. I mean... Considering Feather's voice acting added to this one, I'm gonna guess there's something really, really important inside. There's a change of clothes and travel supplies. No weapons or other self-defense items. That's a wash, then. It was sitting there like a treasure chest, so I was hoping there'd be a rare metal inside. A rare metal? Like what? Why is this happening? Even Poochie. I already said my theory. Master, let's move on if you're done here. There's no time to waste. Right. Where's Zonge? And Aethas, too. If Zonge is the only one alive, it's you. It has to be. Poochie, I'm so sorry. I got so creeped out by my reflection in this mirror. Like, um, I don't know what that was. Please don't be dead. Hmm. Okay. Oh no, this is Zosha's room! Animal print glasses. Aww. This is... It's a glasses case with animal print on it. There's nothing inside. Someone must be wearing the glasses! Yes. There's nothing uh. else to look at here. I see brushes. It is a brush for clothing. There's some fur in the bristles. Say! I wonder who it belongs to? Maybe someone really into fashion? Uh. There's that more information we can get from here. Whose bag is this? Oh, it's open. Is it okay for me to look inside? You're a detective. Why even ask? Yeah, you're a little poofy stuff. You Detectives might as well be going. Detectives search people's bags and cupboards all the time. Smashing pots to find what they want is part of the job. That's too much. Notice. World Detective Organization Human Resources. Dear Zilch Alexander, you are hereby dispatched to the special autonomous region yep. of Kanai War. I knew it. I knew this was Zilch's room. I mean, freaking Shinigami over here tried to, like, make me think it was uh, Melmi's room when she said fashion, but I was like, nah, my instincts are telling me this is Zilch's room. Dispatch duration indefinite. Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai War. Rendezvous with the Master Detectives on site. Upon arrival, proceed to the Nocturnal Detective Agency, World Detective Organization, Kanai Ward Branch. There, you will receive further instructions. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. This is a letter for Zilch, so this must be his bag. His bed cover kind of reminds me of something I would see like in Tekken or something like that. I don't know why, I just keep staring at it. The only things inside are work documents, nothing else of note. Ah, that's no fun. Oh. Okay. Oh, back of control, okay. I thought it was something else in the room. This isn't a passenger room. The sign says, backup control room. Wow! It looks like a secret base! Don't you want to 
destroy the- No. <laughs> He's like, no. There's no one here, so I should go look for help somewhere else. How about you check out that machine over there? Maybe it'll help you figure out what happened. Yeah, maybe there's cameras or something. It's okay, I won't break it. Fine. You just gotta hit this thing and it'll be good as new! This looks like some kind of control device. It might be dangerous, so I shouldn't touch it. Right. Yeah, yeah you wouldn't want to press the wrong button and cause the train to derail. Okay, so... We're here. So we're almost at the ward. Okay, we're almost there. This is the train map. The shining part must be the train's current location. After we exit this long tunnel we just entered, we'll reach Kanai Ward in no time. It's been a long trip. But I'm sure it's been a shorter one for a certain mapping detective. Yeah. Can we get some cameras or something? What's this machine? There appears to be instructions. Backup control system? Are we gonna get there and like we're gonna get arrested? <laughs> Cause we need to figure this out before we go to Kanye World. We need to have our story straight, we need to have answers, we have evidence. We we are running off a timer right now. Like we gotta figure this out. The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. So the control system manages the electricity. This one is the backup, not the main one. Hey, what about the file over here? What does it say? It looks like an explanation about autonomous driving. The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. Because of that, it can easily climb steep slopes. Hmm. I guess everything here relies on that control system. So, if you destroy the main and backup control systems, you can stop the train. I think it would, like, crumble. I don't think it would simply stop. I think it would just, like, derail the whole train. Right now, the control system is functioning, so the train is still moving with no issues. The monitor displays an operation log, but there's no record that the train has stopped at all. Yeah! Master, while you were sleeping like a log, I never sensed the train stopping either. The doors won't open unless it stops and the windows are all locked. No one can get on or off while it's en route. Huh? What's wrong, Master? I noticed the backup control system is operating. Which means the main system was turned off at least for more than a second for the backup to turn on. But why would it do that? Well, it's better that it's running. All the electricity is managed by the control system, after all. Anyway, Master, I'm bored of this place. Let's move on already. Move on because you're bored? Yep. Simply because she's bored. She's like, eh, no excitement here. Oh, there's an intercom. In an emergency, press this button and speak into the receiver. Yeah, and now I'll report this to control headquarters and call for help. signal huh it won't connect why probably because you're in a tunnel and they weren't and the people that designed this train didn't suspect that and whatever call for help while it was in the tunnel if it doesn't connect during an emergency it's totally useless yep pretty much if this system was completely automated a report should have been sent to control headquarters about the fire 
Maybe. Everyone in Control Headquarters is already dead. And you're the last living human in the world. No, I highly doubt that's the case. What a horrible thing to say. In the end, there weren't any survivors in this train car. You better go check the next one. Yeah, you're right. Let's go to the next one! Can't see? Um, is anyone there? <sighs> Nothing. Watch out! Of what? There's nothing here. I don't see luggage or anything else. I mean, I see luggage. I see those covers have been unruffled. Somebody was in here. If each person gets their own room, then someone got nothing, right? It can't be. Yep, it's nothing. Oh, it's... Uh... Yeah. Did you check the pockets? There's nothing inside. Hmm. If we don't know who it belongs to, it doesn't make a very good clue. Hmm? There are magazines scattered on the desk. It's a pro wrestling magazine! What are the hot angles these days? I don't think it has anything to do with the case. Let's look somewhere else. Issues. This is. There are a lot of tissues on the table. I, I, I'm sorry, my brain went into a whole different direction. We said there were tissues right there, right next to his bed. I was like, wow, my boy, like, jeez. <laughs> you couldn't at least put them in the trash when you were done with them? <laughs> Maybe he can't turn down free sins when people hand them out. Oh yeah, so many reasons for why someone would keep tissues next to the- Oh my god, yeah, yep, she was thinking the same thing I was, she went there. I was like, um, hmm. <laughs> what are you implying, Shikami? <laughs> we're implying that he's very healthy, that's what we're implying. <laughs> Can, can I not do the bed covers? I mean, I mean, I would think that's good knowing that's well, you already know someone's here. Uh oh. Come on! What? Oh, Grandpa's dead? Okay. Why? Uh, how did this happen? More dead balls in a row! A walking with loaded faces! What? Do you think this is funny because you're a death god? No. I think it's awesome! My heart's fluttering with joy! Each death takes the mystery even deeper! So mysterious! This is all wrong. Okay. Now, this does put a damper on my theory that it was Zange, but I am still gonna hold on to the theory that Zoch isn't dead, and there was someone that was just kind of like body switched. So until this case is done done, I'm still gonna hold out that this this was the kill. I don't care that he's a virtual Chris. This looks like Zangi's bag. There's nothing inside that matters. This is... You know what's really gonna be quite a shocker? If, if my character really was the villain, and during the time that he was sleeping for those two hours, 
he like has some like split personality thing going on and he just kind of like gets up and just starts killing everybody <laughs> and he's like really the villain all along oh my god there's so many possibilities with my character just uh we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see this might belong to Zonke. they look well used so they could be really old why don't you look inside the notebook there might be something about the case do it it seems to be records of past cases he handled but there isn't any person about the current case. Sangay. He's burnt to a crisp. I can just barely discern his face, though. I can't find any particular external wounds, just like the other corpses. He was also incinerated in a burning blanket, like Zilich in the first car and Poochie in the third one. Yeah, they all have blank. Well, other than Melanie, everyone has blankets over them. All three of them were sleeping in bed and murdered by immolation? Oh, what's this? Zonge's cell phone. Maybe his photography left something behind. No good. Just a video of me drinking coffee. This is going to be important later. It can't help me solve this mess. <sighs> That's four of them. I could have done this. There's one left. <gasps> Wait! There are just six people on the train, including myself. And I found four bodies. Zilch, Melanie, Pucci, and Zange. The only one left is... Apex? Took you long enough. I knew from the very start. You still need work, Master. I'll be sure to train you well. So Apex is the culprit? He murdered the others in such a deranged way? He's got a short fuse, so maybe it was a crime of passion. He probably lied about being a master detective. No, I, I don't buy that, because crimes of passion, they're literally, as they're called, crimes of passion. Like, in the moment, they are killing someone, but after it's over, most of the time, their their head is pulled down, and they're like, oh my god, well, I can't believe that I've done this. I, I gotta figure this out, and like, you know, it goes into that whole thing. Wait, he's, if it is him, he's killed four people in a row. Like, this throw is beyond crime of passion. Like, th this is premeditated at this point, like. No, he's a master detective for sure. I sensed him use his powers. You sensed it? Hmm. <laughs> Look at her face, she's like, ah. But if he betrayed the WDO and became an Amaterasu Corporation spy, it's reasonable to conclude he killed the other master detectives to sabotage our efforts. Anyway, <laughs> time to boom kill that psycho! Oh my god, what's with the fist? You are totally about to say that, right, Master? It, not at all. If he finds me, I'm done for. I'm actually surprised you haven't died yet. You look like you'd be the first to die. Yeah, that's true. I won't deny it. I probably got overlooked. I was supposed to be in the infirmary in the first car, but I passed out in the restroom. Yeah, right? you were in a place that you weren't supposed to be in. Maybe... That's why the killer didn't find me. <sighs> oh, I just remembered! Huh? What's up? Master, I told you that while you were passed out, no one came to the restroom. But it's been two hours. Like, they can't be that heartless. At least one person would have, like, looked in the window of the infirmary and saw your face or something. Like, do a, like, a quick glance or something. But for two hours to pass and no one came to look for you? Mm. But one time, the door did open, I think. Oh, it did open. By the time I noticed, the door closed again. I don't know who was there. Now that I think about it, 
Could it have been that guy with the short fuse? So he let me go? Why? Frame. To frame you. Hmm. Maybe he thought you weren't even worth killing. You're an incompetent guy with amnesia. That wasn't a diss, just a fact. I know. Now that we know who the culprit is, we have to find him before the train arrives. Find him and do what? Catch him, of course. And it's all up to you, Master. That's impossible. I mean, even if you did throw facts at him, he would, like, he would just barrel through my guy right now. It's fine. There's no time to waste. Nothing's fine about it. Oh, he's up again. All right. I swear, if you were, oh no, we already passed this check, one. Check. It's a woman's travel bag. There's a name here. Yeah, we know who this is. Melanie Goldmine. It looks like makeup and travel supplies. Nothing noteworthy. Hey, did you check to see if someone's hiding nearby? Yeah, no one's here. You sure? What if he's hiding in the back? Even a child couldn't hide in there. You don't know that. You're up against a master detective, remember? What if there's a master detective who has the appearance of a child, but the mind of an adult? Of course there isn't. You sure about that? I think there's totally a detective like that out there. Was that another, like, reference? <laughs> I think... This is... Oh, wait, are you referencing from the... Dang it, um... The other game? With, like, when it was the children, they were, like, super smart, and they had robots and everything going on, like, terrorists, and they say, Are you actually from there? So many Danganronpa references. Oh, yeah, some flashy right. threads. She's definitely gets some looks in the, in the city. But now she's all burned up. Guess she won't be wearing it anymore. <laughs> no, why did she have to die? This is... There's a pouch for cosmetics on the desk. This must belong to Mel Melanie. But she'll never use it again. Well, you shouldn't apply me with two fresh burns after all. Why would I? About to get framed. It got brighter. Guess we made it through the tunnel. Sorry, I took my headphones off for a second there. Ugh. doing you guys enjoying the game so far I just had to get my head my headset off oh my god have you had a headset on that kind of hurts your ears kind of when you wear it for too long I don't know maybe the, this headset just wasn't designed for my ears
Okay. Back to the game. Which means we're almost there! At this rate, you'll let the murderer escape! And we'll be framed for murder. Of several people. More shaking? What is it this time? Master, you gotta hurry! The next train car is the fifth one. This train has five cars in total, so this is the last one. Yeah, so if you don't find Apex in this one, like, this man has done a Houdini. Oh, but... But you can't access the fifth car. The one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. Watch it magically open now. The door was supposed to be broken, right? Master, you better hurry! Open. See, told you. Hey, it opened. Was it repaired? What? What happened here? It's been wrecked. What happened here? Master, look over there! Yo. Oh, inferno! What's happening down here? A dead body. That's not Aphex. No way! There can't be a fifth corpse! That's not Aphex. Because that would mean everyone except me is dead. So mysterious. Even I'm getting confused now. Anyway, time to investigate. <sighs> no, that that's not. No, there's no way. Let, let me look at Aphex's profile. Like, there's no freaking way. Oh wait, let's t let's take a closer. Oh jeez, take a closer look at that necklace. Okay, it's a chain with a circle, you know, kind of a ring in it. Okay. Let's take a good look at that necklace this time, because I'm not gonna sit here and believe this is Aphex. And besides, what came through here? A freaking inferno? Like, this whole place is burnt burnt. <laughs> this isn't a fake. It's a real corpse, isn't it? It is, without a single doubt, the bona fide remains of a human. I'm positive about that. I specialize in corpses, after all. I'll check for signs of life, just in case. No, he's completely dead. Huh? Yeah, that... So that is his necklace. His necklace looks familiar. Wait! It's the same one Aphex was wearing. Looking at the body type of the corpse, matches the guy with the short fuse. His face is burned beyond recognition, but could this really be Aphex? I, re I kind of don't believe this is Aphex for some reason. I'm just, because, because for everyone else that got burned to a Chris, even their like signature, like um, accessory, had like like it looked like it was burnt too his just looked like it was just put over it and i'm just like i don't think this is apex you might find it unbelievable but it seems like it so his cause of death was also fire yeah i don't see any other external trauma wait there's an injury on his chest Oh, I did not notice it. I'm glad you zoomed in. I was like, where? I was still looking at the neck so hard that I was like, where? <laughs> so he got stabbed too. Hey, you're right. I'm surprised you noticed. Is it a stab wound? It looks like he was pierced with a blade. Man, that karma of, you know, being tougher with stab training, you know, it really came around on him, didn't it? If that's the case. Was he stabbed to death? No, he could have been incapacitated by the stabbing and then burned. It's impossible to determine the cause of death with what we have. Oh, you've gone full.
full throttle in this investigation. Good job! To me, for being your mentor. But why Aphex? Mm. Yep, this corpse is real too. So this is the door that leads there. Let's go through here. It says main control room B. It's no use, it won't open. There's a driver's seat in there, but I don't see anyone. The autonomous driving device is there, but not on. Hey, Master, maybe someone's hiding in there. Any way you can bust it open? I was real, as the way it was zooming, I thought somebody was gonna be like peeking out the window and be like, oh my god, please don't <laughs> jump scare. I don't think so. The door looks too sturdy. Also, I don't think it's possible for someone to be hiding in there. Aphex and Pucci both said that there were only six people on the train. So, including me, there can only be six of us here. So, that now we're, we're putting up my, my, my big brain theory from the beginning. Is there a way to hide from their detection? Because she said that because she said you can hide, you can hold your breath, but you can't hide your beat. What if someone like took some meds or something to stop their heart from temporarily beating for a hot minute? And for him, it's life detection. What if he can't detect life? Like, <laughs> you know, using my big brain here, like I, I think someone else, I think there is a some person that got on this train and just hid really, really well. I see. Oh, why are there two control rooms in a single train car? Good question. They probably have control rooms so it can go in either direction. This is the last car for where we're heading, but it'll be the front car on the way back. Oh, well, now that you mention it, there is a control room in the front train car, too. won't open but this is the last train car there's nowhere else to go from here can okay um... so is there something that I miss says main control room it's no use it won't open there's a driver's seat in there but i don't see anyone the autonomous driving device is there but not on what how, you just floated your way in there can you like unlock the door on the other side or something can you be of some use please it's a map of the train something okay huh that's weird this area seems more burnt somehow I didn't notice it first maybe there was something flammable in there see look there there are traces of something that got burned is that some sort of plate displaying the train car number but why is this the only one completely burnt? It doesn't seem particularly flammable. You're getting Persona vibes from this one? Nah, all Donk and Rapa for me. They keep making references, I think it's just so funny. They're just like, oh no, this couldn't happen. It has, it has, Yumi, it has. Yuma, I said Yumi, I don't know why. I have so many theories about what's going on and I can't wait to be proven right use my big brain over here um but why do you think why are you getting persona five though
Okay, was that everything? Is there like a room I haven't gone in? Oh, the restroom. The restroom is in terrible shape. The mirror is cracked and covered in soot. The art style? Like the like the animation art style or like when they're like talking like this um art style. There's no one inside. To correct to which one? <laughs> There's nothing in this bathroom. Nothing? Are you... Okay, there has to be another room. What in the world? What happened in here? Burn, but like, yo, why is everything burnt? This to the, oh, so the animation, okay. I can see that, for the animation, I can see that. I'm not sure if they, if the creators of Danganronpa and Persona work together, I don't know if they're all part of the same company. I would have to look into that. But but I can see why you would say uh, hey. Persona. This train is un uh, I'm sorry. Ahem. This train is unmanned, right? If there's no one on the train who knows how to use this sort of device, why even have one? That is a very good question. <laughs> Why even have medical equipment if there's no one there to man the medical equipment? If there was a robot or something, okay, I can see that. But there's no one here, like, did they expect the detectives to know how to use it? This is... There is an AED set up in the infirmary, but there's no sign it was used. No point of using it when someone's already burnt to a crisp. <laughs> There's a fire extinguisher here. Maybe someone mm -hmm. noticed the fire and tried to put it out. Hmm, I wonder. So I did miss a lot in this one. I just went straight for the body. Oh, can I? Thank you. This is. The bed in the front is burnt and flipped to the side. Why hmm? is only this bed turned over like this? Hmm. Maybe it's to hide evidence of some kind. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's kind of to hide evidence of some kind. Just a hunch. I think whoever got burnt here. Oh, wait. Maybe this was Aphex. Maybe maybe we got our uh, the order wrong. Maybe Aphex was, like, the first victim. And whatever they used to set him on fire and whatever, they kind of realized they were saying because, you know, he, he hadn't... Uh, Freaking, he had a natural reaction to being set on fire. You know, he got up from his bed, flipped it, caused some chaos, ran outside. They realized that all the noise he was making, he was gonna like, gonna get exposed. Um, and everyone's gonna come running. So when he got stabbed, they shut him up. A part of me still thinks this is that that's not Apex. Only because of how we found the body, it was kind of weird. Because two out of the five were stabbed, the other three just looked, no, two got, looked peaceful, and the other one looked, she looked like she got ambushed before she was set on fire. And this person's got a heart on for fire, apparently, for some strange reason. Hmm. So that's one thing, I think Apex was like, the first thing. The first victim. Huh? What's this? What is it? Did you find something? The interior lock is open right now, but there's something odd about the latch. Look, 
There appears to be blood on it. Hmm? Oh, you're right. Let me try to slide. Oh, dang. That's a blood stain, all right. But why is blood there? So... This happened... So that would mean that no one was in there. Like, whoever was originally in this room, that's when chaos started to happen. It wasn't like someone came in and did this to him. It was... I don't know. I'm really... I'm really trying to really know it. So... <laughs> we'll it seems out. the blood got on there while the door was locked. That's evidence of something for sure. No harm keeping it in mind. Oh. Thank you for choosing the Amaterasu Express <laughs> Direct to Kanai Ward. <laughs> no, they did not use the same sound, like a remix of the sound of when a body has been found. There's, they did not. You couldn't use a different sound. I know it's slightly different from Dogger, but it is the same, <laughs> the same tune. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> uh, I wonder how many people are catching all these Dong and Rumpa references in in this game. I, I, I would, uh, how many are catching this? You. If, only the true fans, the true hardcore fans, are gonna know what the little things are, but... <laughs> we are approaching Kanai Ward. Please mind your belongings. My boy, get your story straight. Like, you- oh my god, you about to get handcuffed, you about to get dragged, you about to get framed. You- you need a good story a good ass story right now master we're almost at the station you have to catch the culprit yeah catch who everyone besides me is dead are you sure it's everyone calm down and count again silch in car one melanie in car two Uchi in car three. Zange in car four. And Aphex in car five. See? That's five. Everyone besides me is dead. That makes you the only possible killer master. Did you do it? Uh, how? <laughs> no! That's not possible! Oh wait, but no, I did say that maybe he has like a split personality and <laughs> he was killing people without knowing it and he's actually the true villain. <laughs> that would be a twist. But I can't say for certain. I lost my memories and now I'm seeing a death god. Do not tell the cops that when they question you. <laughs> Do not tell them that. <laughs> There's something wrong with me. Death gods are said to reap human souls. Maybe because I'm being haunted by one. Maybe subconsciously, I... We are approaching Kanai War. Please watch your step while exiting the train. This is about to look really, really bad. Fin finished? We, we didn't accomplish anything! We <laughs> F.A., welcome to the stream! Yeah, it's not looking good for me at all. <laughs> we about to get framed, we about to get dread. We, oh my god, no. This is looking really bad. We've arrived! What's it gonna be, huh? What are you gonna do? I... I don't know. Huh? What? Uh. This looks bad! Step out of it! Run! But how are you doing, by the way? I'm about to run for my life again from the cops because they think I committed mass genocide on this train. Master, those guys from before are still on the platform. Run to the front train car. Yeah, yeah. Only one person trained for corpses. It's not really the best look. <laughs> yeah, it's not. <laughs> but I'm suspicious of the cops because you see how they—it wasn't like 
civilians or like normal people walking in, like, oh my god, there's bodies everywhere. It was the police, like first thing, the police rushed in to grab me. This is a setup. This is a setup if I've ever seen one. They knew already that that stuff has already gone down on this train. They come in to make me escape. Yep. Run, my boy. You need to get out of Dodge. Like, the doors are open, the windows are open. Defend your- No, you can't defend yourself. He's weak as shit, but <laughs> get out. <laughs> Nothing good will happen to you if you get caught. Why is this happening to me? Because you're an anomaly that wasn't supposed to be there in the first place, according to the group before they got killed. Master can even make snap judgments. But how, how, how about you leave me know, Shimigami? <laughs> I can't make snap judgments. Thank you very much. You just arrived the first to do it. Uh, you just arrived, and the first thing they do is rush for you. Yeah, not sus at all. Yeah, it is sus. You're gonna need to focus now. I'll, I'll answer how how I am. I've complete. Oh, you've completed the game. Okay. <laughs> Later. Uh, you might find yourself in a pinch during the course of detective work. Follow the unscrewed trying to get out of those tricky situations. Okay. But there's a time limit for make mistakes. Right? Right? But there's a time limit. Right? Can't <laughs> I'm trying to like <laughs> speak and you're speaking over me, please. But there's no time for input, so be careful, okay? Yeah, he dodged that real quick. Who are these people? The police? Obviously, I won't spoil or back to you unless you truly ask for help. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I would love for no spoilers. I want to be completely blind and try to figure this. Oh my god. <laughs> That's scary. Thanks so much for the follow. But yes, I want to be completely bl uh, blind with this game. And try to that I already have a ton of theories about what is going on, and I'm just waiting for me to be right. And I was so devastated when my boy Zilch was the first one to go. Just why? Why Zilch? <laughs> I'm so he, I'm he's the one I'm most devastated about, <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> uh, they're not your friends. That much is for sure. Uh, yeah, clearly. Considering the state of the crime scene, they're totally gonna pin it on you. What? Oh! Oh, I almost pressed Y again. <laughs> Do that to me, Gabe. Like, I did a mini panic just now. Hey, at least you're good at dodging. Okay, made off the train. He's got moves. <laughs> and yeah, I'll definitely share all my theories if I can remember with this because I had a ton of them. Ah, uh, dang. Oh, it looks like you're done for. Can we have a miracle? Wait, please listen to me. I can explain. Huh. What's that to talk about? You're a master Girl. detective of the WDO, aren't you? Jeez. Ya? The name Ugh. is Swank Katsunel. I'm with the Amaterasu Corporation's Peacekeepers. 
Yeah, that's what you're gonna call yourself. Sure. Amaterasu Corporation peacekeepers? Don't act like you don't know. You're a WDO detective for crying out loud. You, like, there's no way you're a peacekeeper. You look like the sleaziest man I've ever seen in my entire life in any video game. Like, you ooze slime. Like, the sleaze is just coming off of you, like, in magnitudes right now. Or are you some sort of imposter? And I'm very suspicious of the fact that you're carrying around liquor. You know, especially since one of them got probably either doused in liquor or hit inside the head by a liquor bottle. No, I'm not. I think. Don't. You oh my think. god. Yuma, say it with confidence, please. Don't. Oh my god. This is my worst fear. The way he was talking before the cops even came here, like, I was like, do not say what you just said out loud to the cops. You will not. You're gonna look even more. Hold on. Sorry, there's a gnat. <laughs> and it's been trying to fly at my face several times this entire stream. Get on my nerves. But please. Say what you need to say with confidence. Don't say you lost your memory. Don't say what you told the other detectives, please. Well, I don't care either way. What's about to happen has already been decided. Which is? The peacekeepers are the defenders of law and executioners in Kanai Ward. If the unjust wander, they will be eliminated. Eliminated? Hey, isn't Kanai Ward under the complete control of Amaterasu? Meaning, these people are like the police here. Police? But it's just some company security department. Hey, who are you talking to? Oh, right! You're the only one who can see me, thanks to our contract, Master. It's a bit cliche at this point, huh? <laughs> Don't laugh, help me! I'll ask again. Who do you think you're talking to, huh? Talk about suspicious. Yeah, like he's like he keeps talking to himself and is like, stop talking out loud, Yuma. <laughs> Poor Swank, he's just there doing his job. Poor guy seems like a very reasonable, kind individual. Yeah, sure, kind and reasonable. That's what we're going with. Yeah, and, it's, and you feel the warmth of kindness coming off his entire being. I'm sorry. Tell me how you're gonna explain this situation. We prepared that trip to welcome you all here, but an internal fight sprawling into a bloodbath was unexpected. It, it's not what it looks like. There's a perfectly logical explanation behind really this. Really logical? Yeah, explain it away, Yuma. Because I, I have my theories, but geez, like. Yeah, put it all together for me. You know, I'll just I'll just lay back here and let you explain that. <laughs> You're the culprit. Huh? Well, that was direct, Master. Try your best to beat him. <laughs> did Did we not summarize that he is weak and incompetent? Like, how is he going to get around an entire police force and this huge ass freaking? Charcoal painted, painted gold. <laughs> Tell me how she no, got me. I really don't know anything. Everyone was killed while I was asleep. <sighs> Yuma, that sounds so convenient and has so many holes. Like, I don't think so. While the other detectives were asleep, you killed them. Yeah, like, what? Well, he's like, yeah, explain it. Like, 
Like, if they really give... I want to hear you and try to explain this away to this guy. And I was like, any way he slices it, it looks bad. <laughs> what would... What would Yuma do then? Knowing... Dying the wrong case, we're gonna get thrown into a trial, and... It's proof! There's the coffee and wine. What? What? Whoa, what's happening? What the... What just happened? We found coffee and wine in the dining room. Yes, I have played all the Duncan Rumpa games. I have watched the anime. I I, have, I love the Duncan Rumpa series to death. So okay. So this 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 um. What is the word I am thinking of? But it won't come out. Um. So this confirms one of my theories because. In one of the, uh, in some of the people that got burned that were in their beds, it looked way too peaceful. Like, it didn't look like anyone that was reacting to a fire. Like, I, I mean, you laid in bed and someone set you on fire. Your natural reaction would be to get up and be like, ah, throw, throw shit, try to, like, save me, please. But they just looked so peaceful in their beds. Like, they didn't even, they didn't look like they even moved. So, that's what I was saying, like, someone drugged them. Drug them or hit them over the head, but he said no serum injuries, but he's incompetent detective. We've already established that. <laughs> weeb. <laughs> yes, I'm a weeb nerd. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this confirms one of my theories that they were either drugged or hit in the back of the head or something. Like, th there's no way. I think the only one who wasn't drugged, possibly, maybe, possibly, is Aphex. Because my oh god, I'm about to go into rant. No, I'm about to go into rant mode. No, no let's let's continue the story before I do that. <laughs> when we checked the second car earlier, I had a subordinate drinking. You can see what happened. <laughs> go ahead and rant. <laughs> so you had your people drink it and know what the, what was about to happen to them. Especially so I live for this. <laughs> Looks like some sort of knockout drug was mixed in. Okay, so it was a knockout drug. Alright, nice. Okay. So, they were all asleep. Drug. Now, my first suspect in my head when this first happened was Zonge. Because of the fact, there's several reasons. One, he wasn't wearing a uniform like the others. Two, he was kind of sketchy about his um, ability until he was kind of like forced to like display it. And three, every time he did something, like you notice like his little art, like um, whenever he like talks, like his little art thing, it looks really, really dark and creepy. And I was just like, you're giving off villain vibes for sure. Even though his voice sounded like, you know, grandfather about to tell me a war story. But, but then when I saw that he was dead, I was just like, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna accept this reality. <laughs> like, I need, like, proof, proof that you're dead. So when I saw the other, the final body, that's supposed to be Aphex's body, something about it just told me, like, no, I don't believe this is Aphex. This is something else. Like, completely something else. This is someone else completely. This is, I, I, I think, I don't know if it was a jewelry, I don't know what it was. But Tommy said, like, somebody in the original group is still alive. They have to be. There is no way in hell that all of them are dead. I still say Zonge, but I'm also suspicious of Aphex now. And also, the thing where in the beginning, you think, so you think Zonge is the master in this? I think, like, my main, my main suspect in my head is Zonge. Um, second runner-up would be Aphex. But Apex seems to be that, you know, that straight kind of arrow type rage dude. Like, he doesn't seem to be the kind of person to do all this. Which is why he's in second place. Um, third place would be Melamine. Because of the fact 
that when we, when that picture that Zongi put up, and it came up twice, F it. I was like, okay, this is gonna be used as evidence later. But why? Why is it gonna be used as evidence later? And because of that, that put her as a suspect in my mind. I was <laughs> just like, there's something about this picture that's important. Um, and why are Zilch is so low down the list? <laughs> Okay, my boy Zilch, because, okay, <laughs> he's, for right now, until I see the other husbands in this game, he is main husband, that's why. <laughs> he gave off Byakuya vibes. <laughs> so that's why he's so low on my list. And also, I don't, uh, I don't know how much you remember, um, but... Remember when it when we went to the infirmary? Well, well, when we first saw the infirmary, it was locked. And for some reason, I can't remember what he said. If he said he saw like a person in there or not, or he just couldn't see them, I couldn't remember that part. But I do remember Zil saying, "Oh, go into the infirmary. It's unlocked." When we know for a fact that it wasn't unlocked, it was locked every single time. It was locked every time. Even when we went there to go and take a nap before, it was still locked. So why does Zilch think that it was unlocked? And so, and so we went to the bathroom, obviously, because it's locked, we can't get in there. It, it makes him less zut because the effects do not align. Why does Zilch think that the door was unlocked when it was locked? If he wasn't sus, he would have said, oh, they'll go to infirmary for some reason, that door is locked for some reason, and we can't get in there. Um, and also, the fact that there was a stab wound. And now, when I first saw him in there, I forgot that he had on glasses. So I was kind of hoping we went into the, the, the dining table and we saw that Zilch was so loud, like, yes, <laughs> it was just your twin brother. <laughs> But it wasn't the case. But like I said, the facts don't match. Um, so I don't know why. I don't know why he said that. Um, Poochie. Poochie is Poochie. Like, obviously she's got some other side to her that we don't know about. She gave off that other girl from Doug Rub, that Lolly. I forgot what her name is. Oh, I agree, so it really gave up back to advice. Less unhinged, but still, yeah, he's less unhinged. Um, he's definitely like, I'm the leader. And I, when I saw him die for I was like, please don't do this. <laughs> please don't, I was like, we're not even in chapter one, we're in chapter zero, and you're dead. <laughs> you can't do this. But, um, but yeah, Poochie is Poochie, like, Obviously, she has another side to her going on. Like she's trying, to, like she's trying to come up as aloof, but she definitely has that that cute girl side going on. Um, I forgot what her name was, but she kind of reminded me of the Lolly, the one who always lied. Like she was like the ultimate gambler. Um, but she she seemed to also be like that's a reference. Like she does, she didn't really seem to have a good reason to lie. She was very logical. And she really didn't say anything contradictory. Now, also, the other thing that I also wanted to know, there are many things about their abilities that I really wanted answers to. And I and I wonder if they're gonna be revealed later. Right, I'm sure you you were all oh, look at all these cute and colorful characters that I'm just itching to get to know and befriend throughout the game. Yeah, no. Yeah, Celeste. Yes, yeah, Celeste. She reminds me of Celeste. That's what it is. Thank you. I was really racking my brain about who she was, um, who she remind me of. But I'll remember she was a liar, <laughs> liar, a gambler. Horrible way that she died. <laughs> um. But what was I saying? Oh no, I lost my train of thought. No. Uh, uh. Dang it. Um. Dang. What did I say last? Oh, God. Oh yes, their abilities. That's right, their abilities. So their abilities are good, but they have they definitely have a lot of conditions, but also to the fact that no one is taking around the account that these abilities can be manipulated. Gucci just seemed like the cute shy <laughs> girl to be honest. Yeah, she just seems so innocent to have everyone. That's why she's the lowest on my list. 
like, she's the lowest. Like, there was nothing about her that said evil villain mastermind about to kill everyone on train. Like, nothing. I got nothing. And if she is, bravo. Like, your actress skills are on point. Um, but yeah, like, for, for their abilities, like, like, remember how Poochie was like, oh, they can stop breathing, but can't stop your heartbeat. Well, what if they found a way to stop their heartbeat temporarily? And for the detection dude, his, 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 it said life detection. Well, what about dead detection? Can you detect dead bodies? <laughs> yeah, if someone is dying or is dead, can you still detect them? If that's the case, that means both your abilities are zilch. Someone has figured out a way to hide from both of y'all and has prepared in advance to do so. For Zongye, he said I can take out a memory. Um, for um, take out a memory after uh, the time was 48 hours. And he said he's used it in court to like solve cases, but I was like, but what if you change that memory? What if, for example, that picture that he put was like, say, you know, he was drinking, you know, he was drinking coffee, right? What if you made it a mug? Or what if you made it blue? Or maybe the uh, you changed an expression in your mind and put it into an image. You can manipulate that image any way you wanted to. Does he have the ability to do that? I was wondering that. Uh, so you're thinking the ability was used here to mask themselves? You think there's a sense? Uh, it, it's either this the, whoever the imposter is was has so much information about them that they figured out a way to hide, or there's a seven person. It has to be one of these two. It has to be. Someone's got some really good intel, or someone's hiding really, really well, or even both. How would Zongi's powers affect this in any way? Um, because of one, we took that picture as evidence, so I feel like it's gonna come later down the line. But like I said, I was like, has there ever been a case for Zongi where he's manipulated an image to put down? That's what I was trying to say. That's what made him even more suspicious to me. I was just like, you can just manipulate images. You can, and what's, I was like, what was stopping you from like, recording an image or even the two three second video or whatever and sending it out obviously we didn't lose signal until we hit the tunnel but you could have been feeding information out to whoever Menem uh, Melanie's ability got a lot of conditions that jeez like she can only summon spirits if she's wearing their clothes like so not a lot of manipulation there and Zilch he can only use his ability if he's around animals so unless he's got like a hamster in his pocket or something like you know like Gundam or something like he can't really use his yeah, or oh, we'll be here forever. Yes, I know. <laughs> and that's why I said I didn't want to go into rant mode because we will be talking forever. <laughs> but let's continue. Drug? Which means you drugged the other detectives and killed them while they were passed out. When did he have time to do this? Wow, he may just be a lowly grunt, but he knows his stuff. It could be trouble. Why do you sound so impressed? So did you figure out the cause of death? Yes, they all burned to death. Nope, nope. Some of them were stabbed. Some of them were stabbed. Huh? All of them? How cruel of you to kill them like that. What's your end with this? Is it money? Or is it money? But I mean, are those your motives, sir? Is it money or is it money? I think those are your motives. If it's money, hand over everything you swiped. I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. To your wallet? Just wants money. That's no fair. <laughs> I'm not the culprit. Where's your proof? <laughs> you have nothing. 
Yes, you are! You're the culprit! No! I... Can, can we get, like, a, a magical, miracle, like, third person this conversation to, like, uh, hold on, we must give him, like, a, a fair... A fair chance to say what he needs to say. Put him a try. You know what I'm saying? Like that person that just makes the peace. The real peacekeeper in the situation. I'm not the perpetrator. But do I know that for sure? Oh yes, another theory. That that he just now reminded me of, right quick. So, I don't know if this will happen later in the game, but if it does, that'll be quite the plot twist. Um, I'm thinking that when he passed out maybe he's got like a split personality going on and he doesn't realize it because you know he's lost all his memories and then he was just murking everybody he was actually the true villain um sent by the court to stop the detectives and he just doesn't know it yet i mean it would explain why you got a god of death floating near you like your best friends but you know he could just be you know in, in his cinnamon roll as we see him <laughs> but we'll see in this situation, who else besides me could have done it? There were without a doubt only six people on the train, and five of them were killed. So the only possibility is... He does! <laughs> Just admit it! I know you're the culprit! Don't admit your inner thoughts right now, Yuma. If you do, it's game over. What am I supposed to do? Admit it now! You're guilty! You know what I'm also- I, I kind of wondered before all the deaths, I wondered if all their blood was going to be, like, pink. But, I don't know, maybe they just said never mind with the pink blood and decided to burn everybody. But, but, but you know, there's probably going to be future cases and where we're going to see the pink blood and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? But if they just gone away with that idea, I'm like, oh no, no, bring back the pink blood. <laughs> it, it was like your signature. <laughs> Am I the killer? Come on, confess. <sighs> Maybe it's better if I confess for now. You no, because you you. You ha one, you have no proof that you did it, and you have no proof that you didn't do it. Don't confess, because at that point, he gets thrown you in prison and gets you executed. Like, don't do it. Get some backbone. It could be better to get through this now, and get some time to think about it. Why confess if you didn't do it? Master, you're an idiot! Dumb boom kill you! <laughs> yeah, e even the Shimigami knows. Even the Chef Game is like, what? Why would you confess to something you didn't do? Obviously, I'm not gonna confirm her tonight. Yeah, literally, I I would keep my mouth shut. I was like, you can arrest me if you want, but I, they, you can tell he needs a confession on him. He needs him to say, I might have or did do it, but until he does, until he does, he can't really touch him, and that's what Yumi's. I keep saying Yumi. You must not realizing. Huh? You heard me? I didn't say it out loud. There you go again, talking to yourself. Must be crazy or something. I hear your thoughts too. I told you we share the same mind and body. Why do you keep saying things out loud and make yourself look more crazy? Like, he can go with the crazy approach with you at this point. Anyway, never mind that. Why are you giving up already? Well, there's nothing I can do. Wrong. The mystery solving has just begun. Why did you make a contract with me to begin with? I want to know why too. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? Stop talking to yourself, you unstable psycho! Bring him down, men! Confiscate anything of value he has while you're at it. Oh, don't sound so pitiful! I'll show you what I'm made of right now! Okay. You finally gonna show me what I get out of this deal? Come on, master! Hold your mind and body right! Surprise! Mr. Lovers!
What? You were a girl this whole time? Match from George Chicken got me? I was not expecting this at all. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Love it though. What is this? What's happening? Don't think about it. Jump through the portal. <laughs> you agree it's not really the best like, yeah it's not sailor moon transportation <laughs> yeah i was not expecting she got to transform like that what's this what's going on i can take you more seriously you? now what do you mean i've been with you the entire time wait you're shinigami Right. Guess you can't tell because I'm not puppy anymore. I can only access the mystery labyrinth if I'm at full power, so I had to change forms. But some parts of me are still nice and puppy. It's true. Want to touch? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay. So we found our new waifu. Alright. <laughs> What's going on? It's like time has stopped. And what's that hole? That hole is connected to the mystery labyrinth. Mystery labyrinth? You'll find out when you enter. Come on, let's go! Wait, you have to tell me! What's a mystery labyrinth? Save is that a Yeah, exactly. Like, just go in there. Don't think about it. You want to get arrested? Yes, save my current progress. <laughs> save it, please. <laughs> All right, Th this is a good stopping point right here. We're just gonna stop right here <laughs> before it gets any more crazy. Um, oh God, uh, thank you for going to this first uh, stream of uh, Renko with me. And yes, uh, I really hope we find out what's going on. I don't know where he's about to end up, but we're going to find out later. Um, I would tell y'all when the next time I'm going to stream, but I'm going to make it just random. Because for the OG viewers that have been with me since the beginning, you guys know that um, my, uh, my thing with my schedule and my equipment is just... it. it for some reason, something always goes wrong whenever I announce when the next stream is. So I'm not going to announce when the next stream is. You just gotta keep your eyes peeled for the next one. This is usually a good stopping point, usually, if you still want to play for another few hours. Yeah. I thought maybe we would, like, get into trial mode by now, but no. It said, nah. <laughs> we got a whole new thing, and I've been true for almost four hours, so... I do want to play more. I do want to play more, but maybe you guys will get a stream tonight. Who knows? Who knows? Like I said, keep your eyes peeled. Um, and I'll definitely announce when uh, the next stream happens. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. See you later.